This summer, make all your meals easy breezy. With HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-portioned ingredients and recipes delivered to your door every week. Get 16 free meals plus three gifts with code unfiltered16 at hellofresh.com slash unfiltered16. Golly, thank you, HelloFresh. Where did we even leave off at the last episode? Um, I think we just did Paris. Yeah. Yes. And you were just about to make it to Mykonos. Exactly. Right. So before, before we start this podcast, or before, before we start this episode, if you guys have not seen the last episode, you might want to do that because that is the part one to this entire trip that we've been talking about. Yeah. And we're going to pretty much continue it off from where we last left off. Euro trip, so this part is now two. Part two of the Europe trip, chaotic uh, extravaganza. extravaganza. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Butter up, buttercups, because we're about to get in on it, baby. Come on now. It's coffee time, time, baby. baby. Let's Woo! go. To Zane and Heath unfiltered. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And we're the unfiltered family. Oh, wow. Was that, was that a thing? The but holding a buttercup under your. I was just going over, like, I was just going off your cues here. I don't know what you were doing. <laughs> oh, I was holding a buttercup buttercup flower under my chin. Do you remember like if it glowed yellow, like you were sweet or something? I've what is no a buttercup we flower? Somebody please know what a, a I think flower. they probably grew it's a in yellow. Your the yellow flower. Oh, like a butter honeysuckle? Cup yeah, it was probably a different name, but I yeah. just thought of buttercup. Oh. But you would hold it under your chin, and if it reflected yellow, then you were, I don't know, good Sweet. luck or something. I don't know. Oh, something. Does that's anybody so interesting. That? No, I've never heard of that. No. Is it like the, like, I one, probably of, the, made one it of the yellow flowers are in, like, grass, like, in weeds? I don't, it, it probably was a dandelion, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. Stop someone it. just told you, someone out there told you it was a buttercup <laughs> flower, and you just went with yeah. it. How's everybody doing today? Good? Really good. Happy 4th of July. It's the 4th of July today. Is it really? Oh, uh -huh. when this episode's coming yeah, out. Cool. Happy 4th. I just checked the day. I was like, when is this coming out? Oh, it's 4th of July, so happy well, 4th of July. May the 4th be with you. May the 4th? You too. Is, do they do that every... Fourth of July, May the Fourth. No, or is that it's every the month? May, May, May the Fourth. Oh, May, oh, May. 4th. <laughs> Fuck, you're right. Sorry, I'm not a Star Wars fan. I wouldn't know. June the Fourth or July the Fourth. <laughs> what are y'all gonna be doing for the Fourth of July? Do you know? We're in yeah, Florida what's right now. Yeah, everyone dressing up as? <laughs> <laughs> as a patriot, as Uncle Sam. <laughs> um, Heath and I are in Florida. Yeah. yeah. Is it specific? So it's not specifically you're going to Florida for Fourth of July though. No, we it. My parents' thirtieth anniversary was in March, and we're doing a family trip to Florida. Our big vacation. We is, haven't vacationed in twenty years. Is this the um the re, the re, you got your parents are getting their vows renewed? Yeah. Reno oh, cute. Reno renowned. So we're setting it all up for them. Did he oh. like repropose to her? Kind of a thing, um, or did they just agree that we're gonna? Well, it's a secret. Vows? He's gonna do it in Florida. There's a whole thing oh. planned. Oh. Uh, Oh, Did we just ruin it? No, so. it's a whole, yeah. Me and my sister. Is he going to get on one knee again? I don't know, Zane. I'm not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> what, what part of Florida are you going to? Fort Myers. Oh, great. I can't the believe you're going The Pink Shell there. Resort. Who told him to go to Fort Myers? Are they just Was this picked your idea? Picked it. Wow. Why? Is that like, I know nothing about it. It's just Fort Myers. It. We're, like, we're from that fucking that Yeah, strip. so random. Yeah. Well, and they also. Everybody were, up there loves Florida. They were also hoping that like your parents could come down. I know. But that was before we knew that they sold the house. Yeah, that's kind of okay. bad timing. Yeah, that's right. Is Fort I mean, Myers near Sanibel, though? Isn't what you fly into? It's, oh, it's it's kind of over there. It's like the West Coast, Gulf Coast. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. You guys I've been to, to Fort Myers. I, I saw I saw Cat in the Hat in Fort Myers. When oh it my came gosh, out. I saw. Where did I see Cat? In oh, the I thought hat. you were about to say the same. That thing. just brought back a memory, like on on a stage, yeah, right? Uh, uh, wait, like uh, a live Cat in the Hat. No, I saw the movie with Mike. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Like, please, somebody know what I'm talking about. So you about. saw the, the in the movie theater. I saw the movie the theater. Oh, Cat in the I saw hat. Cat in the Hat live. Oh, <laughs> what Susical? Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Cat that the musical that called was, Susical. That was Susical, yeah. Well, and Mike Myers is not in that. No. No. Okay. This is <laughs> Imagine he does that. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Live. I have a ter I have the the best worst memory. <laughs> You're really close. <laughs> Ever. It's like dyslexic memory. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. All over the place. Well, I wish your parents the best. Thank you. Hope They're doing great. Well. I mean, thirty years strong. I know. I was I was telling Heath today. I was like, your marriage must be fucking going good. If you want to get married get twice. Married again. Married twice. I don't know. Sometimes yeah. I feel like when people renew their vows, it's like, don't. I messed up. But. Why would you say anything like that? <laughs> I'm well, kidding. He's, talking, I'm about kidding. he's like, talking about other. I know, I know. Other other people. People. Everyone okay. I know who's renewed their vows has already been in a healthy relationship, but sometimes. I think it's the sweetest <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah. 
It is. It's so cute. It's, it Sometimes cute. it's a front. Yeah. Especially when like old, like older couples, like old, old, like grandparents. Uh, my older, his grandparents yeah. just did it in Vegas. It's in just, Vegas. It's the cutest oh, thing. Oh, they're gonna stay young, baby. But Get they're, they're, they're what, like 60 years? Yeah, they've been married together? 60 years. Woo! Wow. Well, more now since then, but. I wonder yeah. how much it rekindles like a long relationship like Ooh. that. You know what I mean? I don't want to think about that. You get a honeymoon again. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. You know, like the Maybe. old Ross and Toss in the back. <laughs> 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 All right. So let's go to this trip. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's continue. All right. Where, where yeah. did we leave, uh, leave we off? Were, so, we were getting ready to go to Mykonos. Got it. Okay. There was one part of the story in Paris. I totally forgot to tell you. It's just a minor detail, but this happened and oh, I, I, I was fucking dying laughing. So remember the hotel that I was telling you that we finally found one yeah. after after you guys left for Mykonos and we were, everybody was regretting leaving. Right. We finally found him and we had to wait like a couple hours to get into our hotel room. And so the guy calls me to let us know that we have one, they have one bedroom available so mm -hmm. we can all go sleep in the bed and that's where the story <laughs> continues. But he calls me on the phone. He's like, bonjour. I was like, hello. And then he starts speaking, right? And in, in French, I don't understand a word. I'm just like, I'm, sir, I, I'm like hungover. I'm tired. I'm like, sir, 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 sorry. I, I, I can't understand you. I don't speak French. And he goes, I am speaking in English. <gasps> oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> I put the phone down. I started howling <laughs> because I was so hungover. <laughs> where English didn't oh, even like funny. get through my brain. That's funny. That's funny. He was talking for a good twenty seconds. I was like, "Sir, sir, sir, wait, 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 wait! I just can't understand you." He was on that other line language. going. <laughs> <laughs> I am speaking English. Stupid, stupid American. American. <laughs> Literally stupid American. I feel like we're. I feel like we're being called out the entire time there. Just stupid yeah. Americans. It's all right. But yeah, that was a missing detail. I just That's wanted to funny. include that in. It was <laughs> I'm so glad you brought fun. that up. Yeah. Make the flight. The yes. second flight. Yeah, we made the second flight. I don't really even remember that us making that flight, but we, we finally landed in and you guys were out doing something in Mykonos. He and I were having the time of our lives. Oh my, we were probably eating something really good. Yeah, uh, we went to go eat. We had like a whole, the whole day or whatever. And then when we got back to the room, so we had a two bedroom suite. And when we got back to the room, the second bedroom was locked. So we yeah. called and they were like, oh, your friend is in there. I was like, Zane. <laughs> <laughs> so we're banging on like, the door, like screaming. screaming and making sure he's alive because we're making all this noise, not knowing that he was in there. And we didn't hear a peep. Did, is it, was that the day where I got home and I just went to yeah, sleep you went all day? Right yeah, as soon sleep. as you, as I soon was as like, you got in. I was like, is he a heavy just... sleeper? Like you were not waking up. Yeah. I. I'm not a heavy sleeper at all, actually. I, was, I think I was just so me. tired because I don't think I even got any sleep before yeah, the flight. That's what scared me. We you, stayed up all night. you didn't hear us at all. Nothing. Wow. Yeah, nothing. But I knew you guys were in there though. But like I your your stuff wasn't in a room yet. So I was going back and forth between both rooms because I didn't want to take the bigger oh, room. Oh, that's because we kept having to pack up because we thought we were switching rooms. Yeah. Oh yeah, but you didn't see that room yet when I was in there, right? No, we, no, we, did. we stayed there the oh, night you, before. We stayed there already. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, but you packed up already. Yes. Yeah. But that was your room that you had your back next to yeah the one on the right got yeah. it okay i was so i was sitting there trying to pick the, the <laughs> smaller funny. room for like a good five ten minutes yeah. i was just like <laughs> well this one has a walk-in closet because <laughs> yeah, i didn't want to be the asshole a... to take the bigger room when there's a yeah, fucking couple yeah in the room. they were actually pretty similar they were the same yeah. Yeah. what's mykonos like is it like a very new city is it old is it's, it touristy so it's it's an island off so in my head mykonos was part of a uh, greece or like like on the main Greece like land patch. Oh, that's what but I it's thought. its own island. I yeah. didn't know this until like a few weeks I don't before think we anyone, left. Did you have to take a ferry this. or you landed on the island? We landed, landed on the island. Which nice. was the gnarliest landing I've ever experienced. <laughs> it was crazy. I didn't know Mykonos was so windy. It the entire trip was oh, like yeah. sustained 30 mile an hour wind. It was My oh, hair yeah. was Not. up. Just ripping. You like, couldn't wear a hat. Your hat would fly off. It doesn't matter how tight your hat was on your head, it would fly off. The wow. plane was like this. <gasps> the whole time Ooh. coming in, and it was so windy. I don't know how he landed it, but yeah, I props was. To him. I, I think I was like asleep at that part, so I was I was fine. But it was fucking windy. Gorgeous and though. It it oh, didn't beautiful. It felt new, but also old at the same time. It was old but well kept. Did you get like an energy though, like there? Because that's like the origins of like so much humanity and like. I don't know, arts um, and, and writing and really, language and math all came from like Greece. So like, yeah. I don't yeah. know, it was there like any there was energy? Nothing, there was no energy where it's like felt old. It was just beautiful. Yeah, it and was, it felt, it, felt like heaven. it felt like heaven. It felt, yes, it felt like Everybody heaven. is in white. Everybody's yeah. in white. And it's not just our hotel. Are white. Everything's the white. buildings are white. 
the uh, people walking around are wearing white, either white or just flowy dresses. It's if, just that like uh, the just Instagram vibe. Fresh air. Yeah. 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 It yeah. almost kind of felt culty too. Like it <laughs> felt like you were a part of like a like a They're like come and join and, us. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. everything was just so perfect. That's what made it feel too perfect. Yeah. Too perfect. Like, the service the was restaurant. unbelievable. Everywhere. Everywhere you went, everybody was so nice. English people speaking English or Greek. Yeah. yeah. Perfect yeah. English. Perfect yeah. English. Yeah. And, uh, by the way, we have to give a big shout out to the hotel that we say that. Yes. Shout them out. Shout Gosh. them out. This hotel was the most beautiful <laughs> hotel I've ever been in. And Jaw dropping. Yeah. Jaw dropping. The pictures that you see on like the internet, exactly what it looks like in person. We like, will never no experience anything like that anything again. Like that oh, ever that's again. good. There's, there's nothing worse than when you see those pictures right, and, and you're yeah. like, yeah, it, what is this? It was really, and this, really and nice. Even nicer, what was nicer? The staff. They okay, were hold on. We pulled up to this place and we, we didn't know what to expect. We're like, we knew it was going to look nice in the pictures. Um, but we get out of the van and these like three male models in all white chiseled face come out and we're like, what, 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 like, what is this? And they start taking the bags. I'm like, the bag boys look like this. Yeah. Like it was, it was yeah. Greek people have this like beautiful, like look to their faces. Yeah, they're, like, they're beautiful. When I go to even the Greek church with Patricia, I'm always just looking <laughs> around going, everybody is just symmetrical. Like they, yeah. they, yeah. they just have these just, I don't striking faces. Beautiful like Greek people. gods. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Just very prominent. Faith, it, it, oh, I know. And the, um, and the hotel had these hills, right? It was like literally running. It was like vertical. Steep like, hills. Straight up. And these male models. And just all the rooms her. are just kind of like all over the place up in the hill. Um, but yeah, it was crazy. They were like trucking them up the hill. Just like, it, it, I don't know. It was crazy. Uh, but yeah, they were like all white. And then you walk in and there's like this massive pool in... Uh, they have floating day beds all along the pool. So you can like lay out there and they'll bring stuff out to you. And then the bar and the restaurant, it was just, it was stunning. <laughs> just feeding you grapes. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, the, everything, stunning. the fruits, the food, everything f like just tasted like it was just made that, like, or it was just pulled. The chicken was yeah. just cut that. <laughs> yeah, like, it, they everything, broke that neck it, that morning. The way they were cooking it <laughs> was insanity. And, Everything was calm too. They took care of us. I we couldn't believe it. Yeah. We kept asking for the bill every time we ate and they're just like, no, it's calm. And we're like, no, please let us <laughs> contribute. Yeah. We really wanted to pay because it was just too, like, it, it was it almost felt like we felt like we felt like we were in debt to them. I know that's, that's how much they were taking crazy. care of like, us. It's like peak like traveling in like yeah, summer yeah. and they offer that up. I think Damn. they just, they, I think they just do so well. That like they just, that they just. Oh, forget it. The people staying there were out of our league. They were. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Oh, just like, like just money. Like White Lotus. Like, like yeah. Crazy. yeah, yeah. Exactly like White Lotus. Have you seen the show White Lotus? No. It's just like It takes that. place at like this most high end like hotel in Hawaii and just every family staying there is just loaded. And yeah. there's just, you like feel it in the air. And uh, um, we found out one of the ladies ladies that worked there was telling us that um, they get all their travel, their stay, their um, food. food, everything is covered. If they if you work there. If you work there. So they're not spending a dime while living there. And they're getting paid well on top of that. Shit. I think because it's, it's only like a job. few months out of the year. So it's kind of right. like an incentive. Is it? Ugh. Hold on. Wait. So it's closed for. Yeah. There, there's yeah. a season where it's open. And then like. It's like ski resorts. Like people don't work at ski resorts the entire year. Yeah. Well, the ski resorts make sense because it gets I hot. wish I you did that. Like snow. devoted like a chapter just, you know, yeah. of my life where I went to a different country. And like just, the like, like the girl that was working at the Crab Shack yeah. in Alaska. Yeah. Oh my oh, God. God. Yeah, I'm just here for three months, you know, just cracking crabs. Oh, I would love that. The girl that we met in Alaska, she yeah. was just there for the summer, just at That's this like, cool. kind of like high, and I feel like it was like a mid to high end, like type of she, like Crab Shack she found it off place. like a cool website where yeah. you could like find those types of yeah, like- I think it was called Cool Summer Jobs. Yeah. yeah. It was dot so, com. If yeah. you guys find, if you guys know the site, put, like comment down below. There's like, I bet you you can find really cool fucking jobs on that site where you can just escape. Keep and, it exciting. Yeah, and you meet, I feel like you meet so many like people yeah. on like taking like trips like that or taking like a summer job like that. It'll change your life. How was the water? Was the water just gorgeous and blue? Really? Yeah. yeah. Stunning. Really Everything pretty. was stunning out there. You know what I thought was really funny? Now that I'm, this was in Greece, but now I'm thinking about it, it was also in Paris. The bathrooms, there's a men and a women's. So you go through the doors, but then they all share the same bathroom. Oh, oh. this is really bizarre. So Everywhere. You go in and it's like one shared sink, right? And yeah. then the girl's bathroom has its own door that's closed off. But the urinals 
are fucking open to everybody down there. So you're literally peeing at a urinal and girls are behind you washing their hands. Oh, it's like Pretty Greek crazy. bathhouse stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it funny that it so has weird. like, you go like men and women's and you go through, but then you see each other when yeah. you walk in. That made, that made no sense like to me how they the had sink. different doorways. <laughs> it feels like, yeah, they're like pranking you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was strange. it was bizarre. Do you think they close it off in some ways certain like nights no. or? I don't think so. Yeah, that was, that was crazy. Everyone's very friendly out there. I mean, yeah, they probably everybody probably just trusts everybody. There's, else. No, you guys, you know, there's no creeps. Like, were you guys close to like the nightlife and stuff like that, or was it? Did you well, yeah, everything to, like, was pretty close. The island, like, it's just to get to the other side of the island, is like forty minutes. And everyone on the island is on the same page. Like every single person you would ask what you're doing tonight, they all had the same answer, oh, and yeah. they would all go to the same pop and spot. They're like, yeah. oh yeah, Sundays we go to this spot. Whatever, like yeah, yeah like, it seemed cool. like it was like designated nights yeah. for certain clubs or restaurants. Really yeah. Cool. yeah, you do not want to be talking shit about somebody on that island because that shit will, <laughs> it will get around. Yeah. yeah, that shit will get around. I but loved that one night our uh, waitress found us at one of the spots. She was like, "All right, yeah, I'll go after my shift," and she found us and she was hanging out with us. I thought that was so. Like, <laughs> yeah, we sweet. told because uh, we told her where we we're going. Right, she was just like, "I might see you guys there. I'll get yeah. off." And she found us. She just by herself came up to us and was just yeah. like, "Hey." It's like a small world out there. You just yeah. see everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh Didn't you see somebody literally, from high school yeah. there? One of my friends from high school. What? I was walking around. <laughs> we stopped at a restaurant. Uh, it was our first day. And we were just walking around. I stopped. I went to go to the bathroom real quick. And I looked at the bar. And one of my friends from high school was just sitting there. We looked at each other. I was like, no fucking way. <gasps> that is wild. It was what so weird. Freaking odds. Did you forget their name? No. Oh, <laughs> Vinny. Oh, great. great. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was really cool. Um, he, said, he likes you sent me a selfie of him. I was like, yeah. where are you? He's like, on, on me and those island. Plantation. <laughs> so, we took a day. We went shopping. Through, yeah. We went through the like the that little streets. Fun. What did we spend money on, boys? Did you guys get a little? I, I, I was thinking like. <laughs> so we I, we had to go like high end shopping for like one of the. Stores, oh, I forgot right? you bought that. We went. To, I went. To, we went to Gucci, and I bought these like. Oh boy! Yellow you just said on the former pants. podcast, you're like, I'm never gonna do that again. When you guys were talking about the I one did, time you I bought, did, you gotta I did. I do it in Greece. It was like it felt like the right moment to you do had that. To. Okay. You had to do it, it. Like just, I don't know. It just felt right to yeah. do it in that Especially moment. Especially because um, there, there's no taxes on it. Oh yeah, you don't pay taxes. Okay. So it's like, fifteen percent cheaper. Okay. If you buy something out there, and in our heads, since everything was being taken care of at in Mykonos, like, anyways, okay. we we're like, oh, we had some money to spend. Why not wild out in this Gucci? But right, but that was the only thing I bought out there. They tell you you don't pay taxes on it, and then you buy it, and then they're like, okay, to get that fifteen percent money back, <laughs> you gotta go to the airport and claim it. Go to like some certain thing. Did you ever do that? No, I didn't do oh, that so because we had no see? time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, we have no time because fucking Wizz Air, but we'll get to what that. What did we spend? But what did you buy? What did you buy at Gucci? What was it? Don't yellow floral these pants. Yeah, I, we'll put a picture here. I, I actually posted on Instagram too. It's just these yellow pants with flowers on it. I don't know. Cool. It just felt right. And they were cool. And they're comfy. I could wear them in the house too. And I feel like it's a good buy when you can wear them. You bought around Gucci the house. pajamas? Wait, yeah. they're pajama pants. They're, they're not No, jeans? they're not. No, they're not pajama they're pants. They're just casual, They're just cool, casual. Funky. Yeah. How much? Just, um... I really don't want to say it. It's like seven hundred dollars. Oh, that's not that bad. Yeah, that's yeah, not bad not for like bad. Gucci. I was expecting I think, like sixteen hundred. And I think they were yeah. like, I don't think they were like in season. I think like it was part of the, it was on were, the sale rack. Yeah, but he, but he didn't know he it thought like it said something fancy. Well, I think it was. Um, they were pieces specifically for like the Mykonos location. Yeah, oh, there was a set yeah, that right. I saw that set. It had like Gucci Mykonos on it. Yeah, and I was like, that's oh, cool. That's yeah, cool. that's really it was. Cool. It was a Mykonos yeah. like. Did you get anything, Mariah? No, I really wanted to. I wanted to get something in Italy, like Gucci in Italy. I still didn't, but wow. I really, really wanted to. Did, were, were we even able to? Yeah, we, we went into Gucci. What's the currency uh, in Greece? Euros. Euros. Oh, it's Euros. It was yours everywhere. And um, the, like, oh, the, I didn't, the I three didn't think of them as being part of like, yeah. I like, didn't yeah. either. It's kind of over. It's a little bit like, I don't know. That's what I thought too. That makes sense. Euros. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, But it, it's, it's very uh, kind of like old school looking, like all the buildings and it feels. Is it as like, is it look like. But, San, not but also or, super, super high end at the same time. It's like a weird like juxtaposition. Yes. Like, yeah. It's very strange. Like they have every designer you can imagine, like YSL, Gucci, 
um, like Dior right. stores, but, but you're they walking were around in like old the walls, yeah, old the rounded plaster walls. Like yeah. it's, it's really interesting. It's so but they, like architectural it, preservation. Exactly. But they were still able to get away with it. Like when you walk by the YSL, you're like, that's weird. There's looks like someone's living in an apartment right above it. Like, yeah, but it works. It like yeah. they did a really good job making it look high end, but you're still walking in like the streets of me, you know, uh, and I think it's the color, of the, the color of everything. It yeah. just makes it feel so. It's, it's the unison of every building. It's that white they did it plaster right. with, with, like, with like a blue window. Good color palette. Man. Yeah, yeah, it was a really they good know color the palette that they had. Very good. They they literally invented that color palette. The uh -huh. white, yeah. Yeah. Whenever you see whenever you see that anywhere, you just think of Greece. Yeah. yeah, doesn't matter what it is. That's true. I bought, I think that's I really bought cool. white and blue pants for it. So there's that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fell right into that. And cats everywhere. Oh, cats. oh I've Wild seen cats. that on TikTok. Everywhere. Oh, cute were they, look, but kind of like nasty they were sleeping. looking. Like they, Actually, no, they weren't. They were so chill. Like a lot of them were just laying there. Yeah. Oh, wow. And we're the problem because we were the ones feeding them at the table. <laughs> <laughs> he had at, extra at tuna. Oh, at Namos. Namos. I was oh, feeding my, it under yeah. the table the whole time. I gave it, oh, yeah. it freaking sushi. Fish. It loved yeah, it. Oh, they're letting you right? Yeah. Fish. Oh, what's yeah, wrong yeah. with that? I mean, I don't know. Their diets are... Kind of crazy. Oh no, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about like <laughs> this is why we have a cat problem. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like you're a lot of feed the cats sir. because well, they would have said something. That's probably why they hang around though. They were sitting at the table every time yeah. we were eating. They'd be right. But they're at your so feet. sweet though. I feel like they would want to feed the cat. They would want the cat. What's like they go to? What are you drinking in Greece? Like you know, are you, it's like Frito espressos. Frito espressos. That's what we just you had. Gave yeah, me a sip I've of had one that. every single day since I've been back. Which What's is a, what? Explain it's, it. Uh, just. Espresso on ice and uh, shaken, oh. and it has like a froth. You could put like uh, sugar, or whatever sweetener inside of it. Oh, ice uh, americano. No, that <laughs> that you like add water to. Oh, you got to add water. But to and the then ice it's americano. like shaken, so you have yeah. like the froth. Got it. Oh so what? We, so what? Vince gets that blue bottle sometimes. That's is that a no? That's just much? espresso without milk. Got it. Okay. What about alcohol? Is there like a signature like Greek? Drink like not like a Negroni or like a uh, spritz like they have Just in Italy. A lot of Aperol spritz, right? Yeah, oh, okay. oh, Italy, Aperol. Aperol spritz was huge. Every, but that was everywhere. That was spritz. Italy. That yeah. Was, yeah. Was the music good? Was it very like? Oh, amazing! The it was it was really good, but it was a lot of like deep house. Oh, yeah, I know that's so big like in Europe, the and I'm like. The, restu you go and play? the restaurants were playing good music, but when we went out like to the night, like when we went out to the strip, pretty much yeah. where all the clubs were, there was no music that they had that had lyrics in it. It was all just deep house music, and you can't listen to that shit all I night. I want the deep house scene to end. Like culturally, I'm so done with it because, like, I like. I'm just sick it's of it. It's a lot. It's the same shit and it feels really dark and it's just not. And they're they're changing the music, but it all it sounded like one giant yeah. song. Like it, it felt like it's, you it, it was never end. ending and it makes you go crazy. Yeah. I know like, when you're on but, but when you're on Molly, you're like, mm, keep that <laughs> shit going. <laughs> <laughs> you just vibe into that. But like when you're not on Molly, you're just like Exactly. We we'll switch it up. When we went out, bro, the the girl to guy ratio was insane. Older dudes everywhere. It was like nine to ten or nine to one. Oh, interesting. Tourist guys or local guys? No, it, it was. It, it, it felt all tourist. Okay. Did it? To me, yeah. The whole island felt like it. When was you just, saw like all those older dudes, like yeah, everywhere. no, those were just really old rich guys that wanted to take a yacht to Mykonos. Got oh, it. Okay. So and then that's they, like where they, they're probably coming. And from. then they all wear the um, like cloth tattered. Like tattered, yeah. Think, that's yeah. that's the like, shit my dad like wears. Like linen, like oh, yeah, linen, yeah. where it's like ripped here, and it like it it looks cheap, but it's like probably like a five thousand yeah. dollar linen shirt. Um, every single guy there. So were like a lot of people like getting like approached. To, did any guys try to hit on you, and you were like, uh uh, that's my girl. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, no, it seemed like everybody was pretty much coupled up. It seemed like okay. It was an old bald gray guy with a 20 year old model. Yeah, that's pretty much what it was everywhere. I am 85% sure that David Beckham was sitting next to us at breakfast oh, at the yeah. hotel. What? Yeah. At, at now, uh, Cabo to Goo. I wish Davey somebody Becks? else was, I wish somebody else was looking so they can confirm because I am not good with celebrities. I feel like every man looked like David Beckham. <laughs> well, maybe, me. maybe, maybe, maybe it wasn't him, but did you look him up when you were there? He opened his mouth and it had the accent. He had the tattoos, he had the, and then, you know, sometimes if you look at a celebrity, they are waiting for you to like, kind of not in a cocky way, but they are just like, oh, here it comes. That yeah. look uh, you're that about they to get you, recognized. That's what, that's the look he gave me when I looked over at him. So I was like, oh, he must be somebody. So, so I was like, think of your celebrities, Mariah. And I had nothing. And I was like, tattoos, accent, 
looks like a soccer player. Like who can I think of? And then I looked up David Beckham and it was identical to him. But if David Beckham was there, I feel like he would have been with his wife. He was with a, his, a woman. I don't know who would have wife. Victoria Beckham? It wasn't. It wasn't. Spies? It I wasn't. It I don't wasn't think her. it was him because and there's nothing about him like being in Mykonos recently. Well, Maybe he I, dipped off with a mistress. He had the oh, same no, tattoos. But if he was going to have a mistress, he wouldn't he had be in yeah. Cabo Tagu <laughs> in the middle of the lobby. No way. I don't think it was him. It could have been. Not it to burst him. your bubble. I'm going to say, you got to see Emma. Let us see David, David Beckham. No, you're let right. No, you're absolutely him. right. I'm going to give that to you. They saw David Beckham at Cabo Tagu with a mistress. <laughs> Start that rumor. <laughs> um, are, are the beaches beachy or are they rocky? Are they rocks they're or rocky. sand? Or like, rocky. Are the beaches beachy? The, Jordan, we try to get Jordan a seashell. No seashell. Oh, yeah. I have like a <laughs> shitty pebble that I yeah, brought back I was like, give him this rock. It's fine. <laughs> It'll, we were digging. It was, anything it was really weird when, because along the coast of the island, there was the beach but it was like a patch probably the size of this room yeah and people had like towels out i'm like what's the point yeah like, yeah what's the point but we found when we took the atvs did we end up at a lake what was that yeah, were i don't i don't know if that was a beach or i a, thought it was a oh beach no, it but had, it, no it had to be because we're on an island so we, we had to have been that wasn't a lake it, it felt like almost like a cove and the the wind was so insane and everybody out there was windsurfing so cool. everybody's just like doing oh, yeah. flips in the air. It looked dangerous out there. I was surprised seeing that. Really Wait, intense. Let's tell them about the ATVs. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Because ATV. we don't know how to follow the rules. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody no, listens. Th this was the perfect situation of like why we can't have anything nice. Yeah. And we get something nice and then we just completely ruin we just it. just don't, no, none of us listen. Yeah. So we see people riding ATVs all over this island. We're like, we got to get, we got to like ride ATVs. This is sick. So it's like the the golf cart in, Ca in Catalina. You got to do yeah. it. Have we, have we rode ATVs? ATVs in the past? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 We've yeah, yeah. ATVs. No, so, we didn't crash or anything, but. <laughs> Natalie, so Natalie sets up like ATVs for us. We're only able to get three, so we have to like couple up and we're able to fit perfectly because David went to Cannes Film Can. Festival. He left a Cannes, can? You don't There's pronounce no S? the S. There oh, is an S. Oh, I'm sorry. Fucking Matt's been there 25,000 Just once. <laughs> Um, so yeah, David like left halfway through the trip to go to Cannes. So we are able to fit on these ATVs. So we start riding. It was so fun. We get to the beach and then Ilya's like, let's go on the beach. So we drive all the way out to the sand, right? Tried. Thinking that ATVs are allowed to, like you're allowed to ride like ATVs through sand. And then oh, we, boy. We, we all get stuck. In <gasps> every middle, single one. Every single one. And this guy, we have to bring these ATVs back to this guy that like let us Shit. rent it out. Yep. And he was super strict. He was just like, he only like the people were driving it. We couldn't even drive it because they you needed but, like a license. But it wasn't like just like ride and then like slowly come to a stop. Everybody was sitting there trying to get out. So Ilya's wow. Wham, wham, and it's it's literally Digging just deeper. going the the whole fucking the whole wheel, wheel. Oh, yeah. is now sunken into this Shit. sand, and I'm like, you got to be kidding me! And then a we were far out. A local hero's like, you guys need help? Yeah, just a random and we're nice like, guy. Yes, yeah. uh, so he Greek god came down from heaven <laughs> and basically helped us dig the tires out and like push it all the way out of the sand and get it back onto the road. Not gonna Ooh. lie, it was all him. I know we're all pushing it, but it was him. Yeah, it, he's done it before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he, pull, he pulled them all out of there and then he, uh, you guys ended up running into him when we went out that night. Oh yeah. Remember, Boy, you, we that, did? Yeah. That, yeah. Where was he? I didn't recognize him and Heath was like, that was the guy who helped us with the ATVs and oh, he came shit. up and, and he then we like, what's up? And then we put him on the chair and we- yeah. Such a cool community, like so fun. Fun. It's crazy that they're all just everybody just knows each other. Yeah, I think Nuts. it's just because everything's in one spot each night. Like yeah. you're just everybody's yeah. there. Right. The restaurant Scorpio we went to, Scorpios. Scorpios. Absolutely massive. That's where you have dinner and then you party. Club all night. Yeah. Everybody on the island was there. Wow. If I if it felt like I don't know if there was it felt like there was three thousand people there. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Like but, it was like a high school. Like imagine a high school. Everybody in high school was at this. It was location. prom. Yeah. It was nuts. It was a really cool spot and it was fun and beautiful. But did you get like a dark vibe there? Yeah. I, it was like almost oh, oh, scary. Like, oh, like like uh, like something bad was about to happen. Like a demonic feel. Yeah. Like something um, something was definitely off. I don't know. I I think it's maybe like the the dark and the like the torches and shit. Maybe could have been the damn like deep house music. Yeah, probably that. I mean, I <laughs> and it's two. also like very hard to get in. Yeah, remember? 
Like it's also very exclusive. You have to like sign that thing in the beginning and fill out your that name. That thing was weird. Like, why did we have to sign that? Yeah, it'd be a scene like in James Bond where like they just like or something. Right. Someone's gonna run through and yeah. like That's chase after it, somebody yeah. and like yeah. knock over like, like the whole <laughs> yeah. bunch of champagne. Like yeah, but it, I mean, it was still really nice. Like, did did you get? We got to explore a little bit. Like, go to the top too. Yeah, it, it's just it's just. There's so much to do in this like one spot. Did we yeah. learn any like Greek? Like what were people, is there like, how do you say no, hello? I don't think I heard spoke? one person Not speak one Greek. person speak oh. it. No, It's a very old language, I guess. Yeah. Like Papa Theos. I feel like I didn't even see it a lot either. I don't Theotokos. even know. No Greek like, writing. No. no Greek writing anywhere. I it think was, the only spot was- um, Everything the, looks like Stas' uh, name. Anastasia <laughs> 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 uh, Just outside of the old churches, it would have it in Greek, what it was. Yeah. yeah. What was the the one little church we saw was built in? I forget. I forget. Was that like fourteen hundred or something like that? I don't remember. Wow, Patricia would love that. It was really nice. We had their crepes <gasps> at me. Oh my god. Oh my god. This. Oh, I the, had one. It was that guy. Yeah. Not, not it, all. Just that specific spot. And he also, he, I remember he was like, you take a picture. I was like, and I forgot to, and now I we can't share with but the location. But he knew he had the best crepes in the world. <laughs> you didn't set the, the card reader, <laughs> yeah. though, on the, the skill hit. Though. This but that we, wasn't, that's not the same we, we were talking to him, and I was like, you know these are like the best. And he's like, yeah. I. <laughs> he's like, I'm very well aware. He's like, everybody comes to me for everybody crepes. That's probably why he's open so late. I got Nutella, strawberry, and Oreos Ooh. in a crepe. Absolutely rocked my world. Did you did you see Todd or my stories at all of some guy with the glasses that was there? That was when we were at the crepe spot. <laughs> Me and Todd were dying because this guy he was like the Lo the Larray of Mykonos, <laughs> <He was> just <laughs> fucking yeah. just everywhere. And me and Todd were dying laughing, not at him, but more with like he was just such a character and he's just so sassy. So we pull out our phones, we just start like, cause he was like talking to us, but like not talking to us, but he was almost like entertaining us. So we pulled out our phone and started recording him and I uh, will put a little clip of here. I, I honestly don't even know if he would want this in or not, but it was just so funny. And I remember we were recording him and he's just like, you know, being sassy. He's just like, no, 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 don't post that. My agents cannot see that because I'll never get, never get work again. We're like, what? <laughs> we're just like, what do you do here? What like, if he's you, like the biggest person in the, Greece? The biggest influencer you know what I mean? in Greece. <laughs> That's funny. It was so funny, but we still posted it. We, we you know, we're like, fuck no, this has to get, people have to see this. This is great. Should've got his tag. I know, I know. I really, I, like, I, I want to find his Instagram. I'm you sure you find can. His Instagram. Did you meet any women, Zane? No. <laughs> Every time you ask that question to Zane, you give like a look. And did you meet any women? women? Honestly, not like Just like a mom. Like, did we, uh, <laughs> did we find love? Yeah, I feel like in Mignos, everybody's there just to like get crazy. I don't think any, you're not finding love in Mignos. Oh, right. Yeah, it's not that, I guess. They were there to party. Did you go to Lindsay Lohan's beach club? No. Ah, we, I didn't know what? that was a thing. Yeah, I told myself that was, I was, I told myself like before the trip that like, I was gonna tell you guys, let's go to Lindsay Lohan's beach club, but we never, I never did it. She had like a whole MTV show about it yeah. and stuff. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's in Mykonos, right? Yeah, let's party in Mykonos. Why, baby. Didn't, why didn't we like think of that? I, didn't I mean, it must not be that popping if nobody. I don't think it is either. Like, like nobody, nobody like request, like no, nobody recommended to go to that. No. What about our last dinner together? Oh my God. This place called Namos. Oh, wow. You, that was yeah. actually on a beach. Like you're literally, the tables are in the sand. And uh, we all sit down and the service there was unlike anything I've ever experienced. I felt experienced. like we were the royal family. Like. Our guy. Unbelievable. Uh, it, it's, it's hard to even describe how good he was. I said it was chilly out. And next thing I know, I'm being wrapped in a blanket. He wrapped me in a blanket so too. So then when, every, when he goes, every, is anybody else cold? The boys were like, yeah, I'm cold, but I don't need, a, I don't need to be wrapped or anything. And I was like, wrap him up. And it was just like kind of <laughs> nice. Came, to, and he would, he, the way he like just draped it around you. And then like. It was it was just special. It reminded me of like a Salt Bay experience. Yeah, exactly. Like he should be somebody. He was unbelievable. If we like the table's really big, if he saw we were reaching even the smallest amount, he would just be on the other side of the table and he would scoot it closer. Just you would see his arm just scoot it closer. Damn. It was I, crazy. I got up to go to the bathroom and I took my blanket off and I just put it over the back of my chair. <laughs> went pee real quick, came back and my blanket was folded <laughs> and sat on my chair. And then I go to sit down and then he literally lifted it and then wrapped it back around me. Top of the line. I think each amazing. table had one server. You know how servers usually have yeah. like a few tables? 
Each yeah. table had he was one dedicated server, and us. so that server was just there at the table waiting for yeah. one of us to have a slight inconvenience. Yes. Oh my God, yes. oh my God. So he served you everything. He would bring all the plates out and then he would serve you individually. But he did this thing where he took a fork and a spoon at the same time oh, I in one that. hand and he was like, talk, like using it like tongs oh. and would serve it like this. Then he would scoop uh, some salt with it and then he would shake it like Whoa. this and it would perfectly like dust. I don't, I but don't, he was also so entertaining. He was like so hysterical. Funny. He was going along with our jokes. Like he really picked up our energy and went with it, but still served us. Yeah. Oh, it was the most relaxing. And a thing they do there is they bring you your meat and fish before you eat it. They show you. You're like, like, oh, yeah. like raw. They'll bring you a dead fish mm -hmm. and like slabs a of freaking, raw meat. A freaking cow. <laughs> they they walk the cow out. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the cowbell around its neck. It's like, <laughs> they look, they look like, we get it. We're <laughs> Good. Less, oh. uh, less cowbell. Yeah. It's Let like, Betsy look. The cutest one, just like, oh, we'll take this one. Huh? Like, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> it was unreal. There's oh wild peacocks running around. <sighs> and, and the desserts. Oh, my. The moose. The moose. Oh, my God. He was yelling at the other employees, more moose now. Because we were, because we, we we were, were eating animals. the whole tub. We were eating the whole tub. We were like, more. We need more moose. Like we were scavengers animals. going after it. Yeah, we were disgusting. That was unreal. Yeah, it was, it was an insane experience. Was everyone having like a good time? No one had like a severe sunburn or like a, no. a rash. Or I got like, windburn. Ooh. My lips were killing me. Oof. You got a wind burn? Yeah. How like do you get like on the ATVs burn? you were just going too hard? No, just from the wind there. It was windy. Like, like you got chapped lips. You never get like wind burn on your face? No. Kinda. I know what you mean. Yeah. Oh, it's awful. You get a burn from wind? Yeah. Like so like you get wind burn, right? You go back to your hotel, you're like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's like constantly like a a bra it's like <coughs> abrasion to your skin because it's like constant. It's like irritating. Damn, how sensitive is your skin? That's crazy. I got baby skin. Oh man. Uh, but yeah, every everybody was healthy. Zayn didn't get any injuries this entire no trip. Injuries. Unbelievable. Yeah, every day I was like checking the stories. I'm like, I'm <laughs> like, waiting for us at the, the hospital. Next is like emergency room yeah. in a different language. I honestly, like at uh, one point I thought I was gonna make it into the emergency room, but like in my head I was like, I cannot, that would suck. Imagine I had to go to the emergency room and I miss like the rest of the trip and then I have to fly yeah. home in a fucking- And then we feel bad having fun while you're- Yeah, while I'm dying. That would have been bad. Uh, so far, so now Greece is, is better than Paris. The, 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 us, the, yeah. the time you're having. Personally, yeah. Absolutely. yeah. It's like, I think just like the, the amount of time we were in each place, just the situations, everything, Greece was, Better. They're just very hospitable. Yeah, I yeah. think if you wanted to go for like a fancy, like either like a couple's getaway or like a group of friends and go like have fun every night if you want to be out on the town and like, you know, have the best of the best experience, I would definitely recommend. There's no like ruins though there to go see, not, right? Like, not in Because that's like uh, Athens, there, there, right? There might have like, been stuff, but we were kind of just like in the city area. Okay. Yeah. Nice. But I know Athens has like all those oh, ruins like and stuff, Corinthian. which I kind of wanted to see. I kind of wanted to see Athens, but. I wish I saw more history. Mm. We, we love still go history. back. I would love it. The thought of traveling outside yeah. the country right now is just Being on a plane out. for 11 hours. But yeah, so we were there for like four days and, um, you know, I think we took advantage of it every day. Yeah. I think we all There's cried leaving because we're like, we're never gonna get this again. It was nice. It was really, really. Nobody nice. invited you guys onto their yacht. Did you see some? Did you see massive like mega no, yachts? No, we didn't out see there? any boats out there really, oh. except for a cruise. There, there was some outside of uh, like Scorpio's area. Yeah, but the the yachts were in Italy. Oh, yeah. that's where the big ones are. Oh my god, this is crazy. So, um, there was a cruise ship in the like in the um, oh, in yeah. front of our hotel, right? And you see the cruise ship in every shot, like all the. Oh, you just yeah. see the cruise ship. Uh -huh. David posted uh, the cruise ship on his story. The captain of the cruise ship saw the story and DM David back and goes, oh my God, I'm the captain of that ship. I'm there right now. <laughs> what? It was yeah. unbelievable. He's like looking at his binoculars. Like, <laughs> you, you, like, you know that captain has like the right. best binoculars yeah. in the game. <laughs> I thought you that was so cool. Hey, he's like, he's like, Thank hog for us twice. Uh, uh, like. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty crazy though. Yeah. She, she I, I don't. She was like verified too, right? Yeah. yeah. Verified, verified captain. Picture one. <laughs> I did not know cruise ship captains that got verified. I think That's they crazy. should all be verified. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't think I want to know verified. the real captain. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. What a fraud. Because not even, a lot of like big directors don't even have verifications on their pages. So some, it was really surprising seeing, I know some do, but I was just surprised a cruise ship captain <laughs> wasn't verified like, on who Instagram. Who does that? That's pretty crazy. That's a crazy. 
I mean, It'd be are. pretty cool for her. Imagine like being like a, a David fan and you're like going through his stories and you see your ship. Like that would be really exciting. <laughs> yeah. so like I'm driving that boat right now. Yeah. She's like, oh. <laughs> Is there, there's only one driver for a, a cruise ship. I doubt it's it. It's like, it's like the Enterprise, like uh, like on Star Trek, like the USS Enterprise. There's like gotta everybody, be so many. It's like someone is the captain, but everyone has their own like control panel. Their station. Like, I bet they yeah. rotate. Yeah. They have to. Is there yeah, one gotta. steering wheel? Oh, is it like the... I bet it's so automated now. I bet it's like a big iPad steering wheel. Like they put their, they put <laughs> their hands on a screen. It's, and it's just, on a gyro. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah, it's got like that one little knob that rotates or the... How they park that shit. It used to be like that. I think, they, I think they have that there just for the look on every ship, but they don't actually use it, right? I don't know. You know, like the, the main wheel with the... Yeah. I bet they, I don't know. I bet they do for like emergencies and stuff. Okay. Like maybe. if the power <laughs> went out, they had yeah, to Yeah, you gotta use, go like analog. Yeah. The I bet they program dive. everything in. Like yeah. the ship knows the depths and how to get out of all of it, mm. I think. was Has there been like a huge like cruise ship accident like the Titanic ever since? I mean, there was the, that like the recent fire. There was the one that on was the in, carnival on like the carnival. a month ago. There was that one that happened like near Greece or Italy back in like 2010 or 2008 where it started to sink and they evacuated everyone and then the whole cruise ship like went sideways. Oh. And then it took years for them to get rid of the cruise ship. Is they that were, the one where the captain left the ship first? Yes. Yes. No. God, yeah. Yes. And they and he had to serve time. He had to go to jail. This one. The captain that, left that, the oh, ship. I do not remember this. He said, wow. Uh, yeah, That's this, a crazy shot. Like I, that looks fucking edited. This happened like late 2000s. And so. Oh my God. That's in Greece. Literally. And it was there Holy for, shit. I swear, over. Oh. The Concordia, yeah, the Coast of Concordia wow. is the name of it. And it was, I swear it was there for like a year or so. Because like, they have to break it apart. They had to break it apart. And then finally oh, one man. day they they had a, they had finally lifted it out. And it's crazy seeing what the other side of it. Oh, uh, look, oh, I, can like you look at the Concordia removal? That's like, insane. Uh, was it sitting on the bottom like it was shallow there? Like it was. Yes. Yeah, so basically the guy, uh, oh. when he was steering the ship, he went through an area that oh, was like God. kind of like almost like reefy or brocky. And it just cut a hole in it. How and do luckily, you fuck no, up that? I think a few people died. Died? Oh, oh yeah, that's like when they had a fight. Oh, the, people died. I don't know if that's yeah, that's it. Whoa, wow. like two, two or three people died that were like that's down in that certain pic. area. That is that's an scary. artistic picture. Yeah, it was insane. I knew some people who, when it was underwater and they were like on a yacht, they went to go like look at it just sitting in the water. Yeah. So I'm just curious. I'm genuinely cur curious. In this situation, the cat, like the captain, should not be leaving the ship. Right? Captain is the yeah. last but person if, to yeah. always if the ship leave the ship. Is tilted like that. Where does the captain stand? Like, where is he supposed to stand in order? You just make you sure have everybody to make gets sure off. Everybody gets off. He left while there were people still on. I, there. I, I know, but I, I guess I'm just trying to figure out like where he would. Station. To he would. He would. You'd be around gathering people, escorting yeah. them to like he the lifeboats. Like stand in the corner and wait. He's. he's he said, "Move, bitch." Yeah, that's, that's bad. Wow. Where did this happen? It said off the coast of Italy. Dude, that's terrifying to be in something like that, like that big. Just imagine being in your room, your hotel room. And you're just. I wonder how fast it happened. It was a whole big operation. There's like a there's a big documentary on it. Luckily, like. Every and everyone, I think, also got money too from like who were on it, As but not can. enough. I feel like each everyone got a free credit. cruise ship for the next coast. Of can you go to the Wikipedia page? I just want to like see a little bit more about 2012. Oh, wow, it was that long ago. I thought that was more recent, and then it took until 2013 to salvage of this ship, and it was finally completed in 2017. And then, oh, 34 people died, 27 passengers, five crew. Damn. Wow. Six hour rescue effort. Scroll down to the very bottom. I'm curious about how much Those five, that five crew is probably trying to save people. Yeah. And the captain all the left. way probably to the. Is that like contractual? What? To, like a captain? Like you have to like sign something saying I will be the last one to get off. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. Yes. When you get certified you, or. If you, if you did, like a part of the code like of police, conduct. Like, like, yeah. Like but you said like if, if he did time for that, like code yeah. of conduct. Is I don't think that's a, like how many. I don't think he, he'd go to jail. Well, that's what for I'm that saying. Long. If it's like contractual, like if you're a boat captain. I bet the scuba diving there is really fun. Imagine was. what you would find. Because no, you, imagine what you would find from yeah. the ship. Imagine you had a beach house though right there on the corner and that cruise ship just goes down. And for the next it's few stuck. years, you go outside and it's what a oh. weird thing to look at every yeah. day yeah. is just give you goosebumps every time oh. you see that. Yeah.
You know that you know that giant underwater pool in um du is it Dubai? The, yes. The, the largest, the deepest yeah. indoor. How pool. were the? How did they build that? I think it's like a tall building, and then they filled the building up with water. That's insane. No, you can no, go no. scuba diving in it. I think it's pretty cool. Like it's not. They have a car down there. I know, but it, are you on like a flat surface, and then you walk in, then it goes down? Yeah. That like that like that. Oh, it looks like me. a tunnel that goes through all the floors. But it's a building that then they filled up. Right. Filled up but with is water. the building underwater or no, is no, it no. Like standing? It's, it's a building, and then there's a tube of water that runs through the center of it. They basically found a building, sealed up all the walls, went up at the top, and just filled it up with water. Wow. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Who is thought it thought of that shit too? Like, how do you think of that? Would you do that, Heath? No, I. Ha if I was scuba dive certified, I, I think I would. Because you're indoors. It's not I like would scuba there's dive sharks it. or anything around it. Like, you're but in th this is for like doing like deep dives without like a, like oh, a I, scuba apparatus. I wouldn't. Oh, really? They're like holding their breath and then they dive like free diving. Oh, why don't they uh, have scubas for this one? Well, I think I think they do. But a lot of people like the reason is to see it, how far you can dive it down. It looks like that level of like Super Mario World 64. Yeah. Where you go. Remember, you had to shoot the cannon and you went into that underwater city. Yeah. And there was like and then you could press the buttons and then the water would get lower yeah. and then it would go back up. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. How well would you take care of your car if you had to keep the same one your entire life? That's how our brains work. So why don't we treat them that way? How we care for our minds affects how we experience life. So it's important to invest time and care into keeping them healthy. There are plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, like learning a new language or taking power naps. There is also BetterHelp Online Therapy. If you guys don't know what BetterHelp is, BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat only therapy sessions. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Right now, our listeners can get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash Zane and Heath. Let me spell that out for you. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash Zane and Heath. Thank you, BetterHelp. We love you. All right, anyway, Grease is unreal. Oh, right. <laughs> unreal. Yeah, Grease was dope. Amazing. And then, and then at we, this point, are you like ever like fatigued going, oh shit, we still gotta go to Yeah, yeah, yeah. we were we like, damn, we only that. finished like half this trip. Yeah. Like this is crazy because it, it was such a high but like we were so happy that we still had something left. Like yes. we were like, oh, wait, we get to we go to Italy. We were tired, but we were excited. Yeah, and we're still but really excited. You're tired, but you're like, okay, we have a new destination. Now it's like something to look forward yeah. to. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So um, we're like, we need to get on this fucking bus. We got to get to the airport. And honestly, I was- we were running late. Yeah, I was most excited for Italy anyway. So I was like, okay. We, yeah. yeah. So we, <laughs> we get to the airport, right? And we leave on time. We're like, yeah. oh, we, have, we have some time. We packed up. We're all like pretty hungover. We get to the airport. And we're flying Wiz Air, all right? Wiz Never Air. Never even heard of <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Us so either. Show right. Matt You're like Wiz bippity Air. boppity <laughs> boom. Wait, like, yeah. wait till you see the colors of Wiz Air. Wiz Air, right? And we. It was It was not. Hot pink. Woo! Uh, not a good look. It was like soul airline. playing. Yeah, that's it. Really. Zane, the upside down exclamation, the, or the uh, upside down eye that yeah. looks like it an looks exclamation. like an energy drink that, yeah. they, like, that made an airline. They like wrapped it up for a campaign. Yeah. yeah. So we Wins. get to the airport and we're the first ones in line. We got our bags. They're like, oh, we're good to go, baby. We are on time. We get to the desk and for some reason, they're just being really like, were kinda, they being- Kind of nasty. They're being really nasty. We and, all went to- one person you know how there's like three yeah. different people like checking bags or traveling. whatever so we're all together with this uh one lady in the end and we're sitting there and it's taking like 15 minutes we're like what is going on uh so then a lady on the other side calls me and mariah over so we're like okay we'll just go over here so we start checking our bags and then all of a sudden this oh, no, lady wait, we missed a part sorry i don't mean which to part interrupt. we get to the airport we all get out and Todd and oh. Ilya have similar suitcases, same exact color, this baby blue color. And uh, somebody goes, where's the other baby blue suitcase? And Todd goes, oh, that's mine. Like Ilya's holding it. And Ilya's like, no, this one's mine. And we realized that Todd's suitcase was left back at the hotel. Oh shit, I forgot. And we're already, oh. we're already running late. So Todd's like, I'm not making this flight. So the guy, the driver zooms back to the hotel, comes back with the bags. And while that's happening, we're standing at the kiosk. Dealing. And this lady, the second we showed up, just 
total so attitude. Like, we were all so patient and her It's like we did something to yes, her. It was really like, weird. Yeah, yeah. It's like we killed her dog. It was yeah. crazy. But we we like separated and then the lady that was taking care of all of them literally just walked away from the little like kiosk area and started hanging out with the other girl in the middle. And they're both doing nothing. And then they're all standing there like, we got to check these bags. Like we're going to miss the flight. So then She's like, oh, no, go over to this lady, which was ours. So then they all come over and start no, she using. She was saying that she got upset. Sorry, it's like confusing. So Heath and I went over to the other lady because she called us over. This original lady got so offended. So I, I went over yeah. to her again and I said, oh, she's going to help us there. I can take my our passports okay. or I, our IDs. So she went to hand it back to us. She goes, you know what? All of you can go to her then if that's the case or what. And she gave me this whole attitude like she was so offended that we moved over, but she was taking so it was long. so weird. And she was like, now all, all you, please go. <laughs> all and I was like, is. what? She was like, please, now go. And we were like, okay. So we go over to the kiosk together. And then that's when they're all standing in the middle and they're just do to doing around. Like gossip, do, do, gossiping Matt literally in the middle. Like, do, 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 like yeah. we could see we, they were doing literally nothing. And at this point, there's a giant line behind us. Everybody's waiting for us to finish because there's only <laughs> one kiosk. Right. And we're like 30 minutes into this now and none of our bags are checked. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, what is taking this, so I, long? Do you think she wants you guys to miss the flight? It so seemed It seemed like, like it. it, yeah. So what took so long was... The, the entire airport, they had to do everything manual. There was no computer in front of them. They had to write. They were writing down everything. everything. Like an old school bowling alley. Just yeah, like yes. it. they were writing your name, your the serial number to your suitcase, everything, your receipt. Everything was being. It was at, down. at this point, Real. Matt. I like carried out a little bit. Yeah, I was. I had a full meltdown. I had a full melt because we at this point we were. It yeah. was forty five minutes. We were still checking in and i think i was more upset that these people behind us are never going to make their flight because if it took this long for us and it the looked like it was the, our fault yeah and it looked like it was our fault but it wasn't our fault i i'm i'm just they freaking out snapped. i'm i snapped i'm just like how is it taking 45 minutes to get checked in and i'm Zane laughing turns around he goes I'm, I'm sorry i have to tell them and we're I'm, like what <laughs> he turns around to the crowd and he goes you are all missing your flight. You are all missing but like, your not flight. The, not the way to say it. Yeah. But but I, no, it was I so wanted to funny. genuinely like tell them that like Same, guys. Yeah, he was trying to help them out, but their faces were not even concerned. Because this is is this one of those like kind of European style airports where like your gate hasn't even been doesn't even get assigned until the last five minutes. Okay, we started boarding. realizing that too. You're, there, you're, it's very delayed. It's very delayed. Well, like your boarding time. It was like, like an departure hour delayed. time. It's like, yeah. It's always like twenty because they minutes seem super out. casual. I I always every time I'm in like Europe. I always am stressed out. I'm missing the yeah, flight because so it doesn't go like American on clockwork because yeah. you will still make the flight because everyone, no. Americans always freak out at European airports. We were like 45 minutes late, it. but yeah. ended up being 45 minutes early, yeah. even no. after the whole thing. Because Americans know. take off if majority of the people are at the airport and not yeah. on the flight. They don't take off. Yeah, like American that. does not do that shit. They'll leave before the fucking time. They'll be like, yep, see ya. You gotta go. So Zane was doing his duty, his due diligence. I was, <laughs> I was, I was like so upset that um, I genuinely thought that these people were gonna miss her flight and that really made me upset because yeah. I knew we were gonna make it because we were there for 45 minutes. So I knew we were almost ready to get on the plane. Right. I've and just been informed that all of your children are, are missing. missing. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the way Zane did yeah, it. Yeah, that's what it seemed like. But it School took so long at the, at the kiosk that Todd, the driver ended up coming on time. So he went he all the way to bag. the hotel, grabbed Todd's bag, came, ba came back, came back and he made it. Yeah. Wow. Was Todd Pitt, was there, and Todd's we like, still, I have something oh, valuable in there, like nice clothes. Or? I mean. No, it's just like his luggage, like his yeah. everything. Uh, I'm always, sometimes when I pack though, I'm like, <laughs> oh. I have to be cool that everything in this I could, I thing. could never, yeah. I could, I could deal with it's it being like, I'll never see it I again. I make sure it's just clothes. I'm like, yeah. whatever. Yeah. So we waited in line to get on the plane and we get up to like the gate. We wait they go to like check us on and they're like no you have an extra bag your carry-on you don't you you can't get on with the carry-on and oh, a backpack boy. so then we had to step out of line go wait in another line to do the same fucking process of them handwriting all of these note cards and there's only one person on the kiosk so nobody's going because they're waiting for our <sighs> bags it was 
<laughs> unreal. And I get more worked up if I'm an inconvenience to somebody. Like if I'm inconveniencing somebody and that's what we were doing. This group of Americans was inconvenienced. Oh, yeah. We looked flight. so bad in that airport. It was it looked terrible. Like we were... But we were just listening to what they, but they were just like, how stupid are you to bring on an extra bag? Like it, <laughs> they, so we had like regular seats. That's why we weren't mm -hmm. like um, priority or priority premium. or anything. So they were allowed to bring other bags, but we weren't. So we can only bring the little backpack. So they had to write everything down once again. Somehow Zane gets through first. He's got his Gucci bag ripping at the seams. <laughs> Everything's fucking falling he out shoved, as he's walking through. He shoved everything into that Gucci bag. Everything, my dirty clothes, everything. Just, it was filthy. Shit's rolling Somehow out. Somehow he slithers through and he's waiting. He's like, I'm not getting on that plane without you guys. And he's waiting there for like... <laughs> 30 minutes waiting for us to check in and we're like, what is the problem? Again on the what are we he's, doing? He's, doing? <laughs> he's, right, he's, he's writing notes. At us yeah. He's writing notes on his phone and holding it up to his forehead <laughs> as we're sitting there waiting. I'm like, you son of a bitch. Because it because it, because it, if you miss one of these flights, I don't know why you just knew you weren't going to make it there that day or the next day. Yeah. Like, because every, yes. but everything's booked already. Everything is booked those like the it next few crazy. days. It oh. was scary. But we got on. We made it. We landed in Naples. We we have like a, a driver that's picking us up. And as we're going through the parking garage to like <laughs> pack it up and like leave, I'm looking at the cars around us and I'm just hysterically laughing because I've never seen uglier cars in my life. The boofiest looking cars <laughs> like, ever. It, like it was, what we'll show pictures here. We'll show pictures you, here. You said if you ask a preschooler to draw a car. Yes. <laughs> Matt, you don't understand how bad they are. I, it's it's crazy. And they all look like that. It's not like some cars look Zane, like that. They all Zane, look like you that. Have, please pull up the, the one from the garage that we were literally dying da at. You have to look Matt, at this. we yeah. were howling. <laughs> This shit was or like when so you're, funny. It was like when you're asked to draw a car for memory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Look. Oh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are these? It looks European more... cars. European. Let me see it. Let me see it. <laughs> Look at the back of this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Zane, show the, the the last one in Italy, the one. Bro, that Wait, oh, no. <laughs> well, you know what it is? It's they are trying to maximize the space that's inside the car by because keeping at high fuel efficiency. Right, that's why yeah. Yeah. But that doesn't look stuff. aerodynamic at all. It's not supposed to be aerodynamic. <laughs> it looks unsafe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, it's it is so, funny. It is. I guess it's so good. Look at this car. Wait, wait, wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes, what the what the fuck is this? Oh, Zane, you gotta do that TikTok where it's like, up uh, first we have play. Uh, like <laughs> I couldn't get over it. Up it next was, we have poof. We were fucking cracking Show up. Show another, you gotta have another one. Because these look like, like, this looks like a, like a pretty expensive car, you know? It that looks like a nice car, but why is it built like that? <laughs> and I'm over here, like, we land, I'm thinking we're gonna see Ferraris and Lamborghinis. I'm like, we are in <laughs> Italy, <laughs> baby. And <laughs> no, we saw a boof. It was, Shame. look at this shit. What the ah, fuck? Ah, <laughs> what? Ah, <laughs> what is this? Fiat something. It looks like Big Bird. <laughs> it looks like something like the dad on like Honey, I Shrunk Your Kids yeah. like, would like make their drugs. Yes. It looks like the designer didn't even try. That is hysterical. It, the, car, the cars look like they had big foreheads. Yeah. Yeah. Like what is the logic? The head, oh there's two God. headlights. See the two headlights? They got one on the top. One on the Just doesn't make any sense. But yeah, right. but we, yeah get in the, uh, we get in the bus and then we start taking it to uh, Positano. And the drive there was absolutely insane. Like I've just never seen anything like it in my entire life. Um, and just the houses all along the coast, it felt it was like stunning, but at the same time, it felt like super post-apocalyptic. Mm -hmm. Just, just the yeah. I was saying it reminded me of Lebanon. Like it, it just felt like there was, but it was a ghost town. I didn't see anybody there. It was like apartments and just like clotheslines everywhere, but nobody was there. It was, it was. The windows were just open holes. Yeah, it, it was felt like so Hunger Games strange. a little bit. Like just yeah. nobody, everybody was just right. in their houses because but they had the, to be in the their houses. But then the clotheslines just had like old clothes on it. And yeah. then also we're looking at like Pompeii and I'm like, it, it just like, I was just like, it was really interesting. 
but it was it was beautiful though. Like if like it, it was so cool experiencing another just side. Oh, it was yeah. mesmerizing. It's just amazing to look. what they built into that mountain. I can't wrap my head around it. I don't know how they did. Oh, it. and then driving like getting into uh, Sorrento, and then going around the mountain and it's just a sheer cliff and everybody's driving so fast i'm like has anybody fallen off these and the driver was like yeah all the time i'm like oh my god let's <laughs> it was, slow it down was really, it was yeah. really stressful and our guy he was, was our guy was zooming in. through the, through these like through the through this through the side of the cliff i and trusted him though you know <laughs> yeah I, it was and he's just sitting here wah, wah, doom, wah. Doom, doom. Yeah, yeah. you guys noticed that he was wearing a gucci belt and a gucci bag he had oh money. he was doing good he charged yeah. us a lot for that ride it was just a That's regular why taxi he has ride nice thing yeah, yeah, that mercedes too. Crazy. i've never seen a mercedes a mercedes a sprinter van yeah that was, it was that was manual but it was I, his it wasn't like a it, it 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 just seemed like he makes a lot of money from tourists because he just overcharges right but it works but he was good the streets were Tiny. Yeah, it was it was scary. Tiny. And there's people like walking along the side. You will get hit if you're if you don't turn yeah, around. It's, it's and wide move. enough for one car to fit through. But at the same time, you don't have a choice but to walk on it because there's there's no, no sidewalk. Yeah, it's you're walking on the street and the cars barely fit next to each other. There's people bumping each other. Yeah, when they're, when they're parallel parking, it just hit hit like nobody cares. And you, and you know how in America, like the cost uh, the um. Because not customers. What, what do you Customer call Customer service? Well, no, what do you call people on the street, walking on the street? Pedestrians. Pedestrians. Pedestrians, yeah. pedestrians have the right of way. In this city, pedestrians do not have the right of way. No, you better no, fucking you That car's you coming. Move. If you get yeah. hit, yeah. you're fucked. That car will keep going. You can't stop. It's crazy it's they runway. don't care about their cars, though. Like, they're literally just, like, scraping up against shit, and cars are passing <laughs> by. Like, <laughs> fucking wind. Like, your mirrors are getting hit. They're just popping it. Like, yeah. I don't, yeah. <laughs> and they had giant city buses trying to make oh, it around those. Yeah. I could Ooh. not believe the motor coaches that they had driving through the through through the cliff. It was unreal. Un it was unbelievable. I don't know how they do it. He's got to be so those stressful. turns. Those turns were like ninety degree turns. Yeah, or not even. It was more. It was more sharper yeah. than that. So we get to the hotel, and we are at separate hotels because it is. Uh, we couldn't get a hotel with enough rooms for everybody. So Todd, Natalie, and Ilya stayed 15 minutes, 20 like minutes 20 away. 20 minutes away yeah, from us. Yeah, 20 minutes away from us. We stayed in our own hotel, and our hotel is, is tiny. That We could probably count the amount of rooms that were in there. Yeah. And what are the odds that someone I went to high school with was literally staying- Same hotel. What? Wait. The same hotel at what? the same time. What's even weirder is, you know the room you switched into? Yeah. They left that room and you moved in. No way. Yeah. That top room. But we just missed each other. So we were posting, we were watching each other's stories and I was like, where are you right now? And she sent me a picture of the lobby and I was at the lobby. But the day we got there, she was on a boat. And then the day she went back to the hotel, we got on the boat. So we missed oh, each you, other. Damn. But like, we were there at the same time. Like our stuff was insane. there at the same time. Like wow. what the hell are the That odds? you went to high school with? Yeah. Holy shit. Crazy. That is crazy. Yeah. And there's so many, there's like and so many. And you followed her already? Excuse me? And you followed her already? Followed her On where? Instagram, you're saying? On Instagram. Oh, like I it's not. She's been Instagram? following her. Yeah, it's my friend. Oh, I know. I know. That's just crazy. Like, it's a friend from high school, but also one that you keep up and with. And, like, oh, so, right, know right, what I mean? Right. Like, it yeah. could have been, like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Or Did they you notice her stories first, or she noticed yours first? I noticed hers. She tagged the location. She, okay, so the restaurant that we first ate at, me, you, and Heath. Yeah. We, it was a restaurant on top of the mountain, and it was looking down at the beach below. And the beach had very specific umbrella prints, and she was posting at those umbrellas. And I was like, where the hell are you? And then I saw her location. And then I said, oh my gosh, I'm here too. Where are you staying? It's pretty big. Like like I said, Todd and Allie were like 20 minutes away. Right. I was like, where are you staying? And she was like, art something? And I was like, and I sent her a picture and she sent me a picture of the same thing. And she was like, oh my gosh, we're in the same place. That's and whatever. insane. Yeah, it was crazy. Oh, wow. but that, that restaurant, like this is what really blew my mind. So as soon as we get there, we go up to the top floor. Also, elevators there don't make any sense. They're big enough for two people to stand like this. Yeah, every yeah. hotel in Europe. Everywhere. Like, where do you put your bags? <laughs> um, so we take it all the way up, and I didn't realize, but it was like the highest building in Positano. We didn't even know. We didn't even realize that though. When we, we just were happened to there. pick that spot. Yeah, because oh, cool. it was like inside a hotel. We didn't and, realize until we went to the bottom and where the beach up. is and looked up. Yeah. Um, but dude, it was the most surreal feeling. Looking up, it felt like a dream. It felt 
like I was in uh what's the the Leonardo movie Inception. It felt like an Inception dream world that was like created that I I couldn't yeah. I CGI'd. literally couldn't comprehend what I was looking at. I was just in awe. Um but yeah, it it was it was insane. Like I still can't get over it. Um, so we're excited. We're like, we're about to try Italian food for the first time. This is our first. And, and <laughs> we are pumped. <laughs> so they bring out like a bruschetta and it was one cracker with like <laughs> three, <laughs> three little tomato chunks. We're like, okay. It was like, it was like complimentary though. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. like, the, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it was good. We were like, okay, this is all right. Small, but good. And then we get uh, a calamari appetizer and some bread. Uh, and oil, and the the bread was a little. Is this at the hotel you're eating? No, no, this is another it, hotel. It's a our, our hotel didn't have anything oh, okay. like yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> so. like that. Um, and and the bread was interesting. It was tasty, but I don't know. The, it was the texture. No, it was the I texture that was. It was there was no flavor. It tasted like that Ezekiel bread. Oh, yeah. I think we're such <laughs> Americans, though. We're like, we want flavor. Give me white like, bread. Yes. That's, I, like, that's really I think it. because like, no, our taste, like they, here's the thing. Here's because when, like we've been to really good Italian spots here, and it's good Italian, right? But in our heads, we're going to Italy. It's so catered I to think, American taste. Yeah, we have Italian right. American. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's, and it's a whole different. That's what we didn't really. Um, we didn't really know. It's going more into stripped it. down, like a lot right. of stuff. Right, and we understand that now. We know that. That's okay, why we're freaking obese. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Stop yeah. adding yeah. shit to food. It's not good enough. Uh. Where's the sodium? <laughs> um, so we get the calamari. We ate like eighty percent of it, but we're like, let's save ourselves because we ordered entrees. Yeah. So the lady comes to like take the tray. She's like, "Are you done?" We're like, "Yeah, we're finished." Um, so then Mariah sees her go to another girl working there. And so keep in mind, this place is probably the size of this room. Tiny. The chef was cooking outside. That's how small it was. Literally no in a kitchen. window right now. So we see us. everything. Yeah. yeah. So it was just, we were here and our waiters were right there. Maybe closer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can see everything that's happening. So she takes our plate away and there was like two shrimp left on it, whatever. She brings it to another employee and they're, I hear them counting in Italian. So they're counting and they're figuring out what to do with this. And I was just like, what the hell are they? And they're looking and they're rolling their eyes and they're looking back at us and they're looking at us up and down. To be fair, it was a nice restaurant. We just got off a plane. You can imagine what we smelt looked like. <laughs> and I was like, we're definitely underdressed, um, but whatever. So they're figuring out what to do with it and they they give the plate back and they're all now every employee there like <laughs> staring six of them, around yeah. are looking at this plate and they're just like oh, it's pretty crazy yeah. yeah very they're being very it's obvious two about left? it yeah. It was yeah. like a couple pieces of calamari and then like a couple shrimp. Okay. It, it may be very rude to leave any food on a plate. That's what we were thinking. Yeah. I don't know. Um, we later found out that's not the case because other restaurants <laughs> were like, whatever, you're done. We were in the middle of eating and they're like, done. <laughs> so I don't know what their problem was, but there was this one lady that was such an instigator because she would talk shit and then turn to the other people that didn't have a problem with us. And then they're like, oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. And they would just look at and us she was up and down. Everything. Yes, it was so bizarre. And, 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 and then us. we started noticing they were taking care of other people that got there after us. And they're like, they were getting their entrees. They were getting their yeah. check. And I'm parties, like, what the Parties of 10 that were dressed to the nines and they were getting served so quickly and we're sitting there. We were discriminated. We were discriminated, yeah. And I was yeah. like, yeah. I hope this isn't what all Italians are like. <laughs> like, I was like, I understand the was, attitude, I get it, but th they were talking shit and yeah. I don't know what we did it was wrong. A bad, it was a bad first, like first First taste, impression, first yeah. First impression oh. of like. But, but you guys were excited because you're about to try Italian pasta for the first time. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh man. So they get their pasta and I'm really excited for them. And I was bummed. <laughs> for what? Zane and I both took a bite. We got the same plate. We both took a bite, and I—I I can feel us both. <laughs> side no, neither each one other. wanted to say anything because it's a, we, you look forward to something when you're disappointed. You don't want to admit it. We right. were because we were already getting nasty looks from yes. the waiters and the service before we even got the pasta. So as soon as we got yes. it, we're like, "Damn this!" And we're eating it, and we're noticing. I don't know if it was just in our heads, I, but they are laughing. I think they did and, it on purpose. Like, they are watching laughing. Them eat. Matt, this macaroni was unbelievably undercooked. Like, like it, it was, was like crunchy. Al like, it was no, al no, no, not no. Al no. Matt, it was it, it was, was hard. getting stuck in your teeth. The hard parts were getting it stuck was, in your Matt, teeth. It was crunchy. It was unbelievable. It was like, I've crunchy. never experienced this in my yeah. life. The sauce was amazing. It was yeah. great. 
But the the texture was off. I know what it's supposed to taste like. <laughs> I was like, is this how they do it in Italy? Like, I don't know. It was bad. And then we look over and she's with the chef leaning and she's like. Like that. Like laughing. Yeah, laughing. I'm like, wait. And we weren't going to say anything. Of, I'm not going to no open way. my mouth. So no they way. probably they probably just thought we were dumb. <laughs> what did y'all do? Though? We didn't do anything. We were so nah, It probably nice. sounds like we're going around and like asking, like we are like we begging. We are for, silent. We were so, ex- we, we were admiring. We, we, we even were, were saying how beautiful and he's like, yeah. Like he didn't care. And we were being was, loud. We were yeah. being very quiet. Oh, Trust yeah. me, it we, may sound we like exhausted. it because we're screaming We just got now. off a plane. We were tired. We just checked in. We, we stunk. Like I keep saying we stunk. We, stu- we, we, we really didn't stink. Stunk. I, I had perfume on. Perfume, <laughs> so where did we go out at night? Did you go to that one like nightclub Wait, on so, the side of the run? We'll get we'll, we'll 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 get there. We'll get there. Um, we we left there, went back to the hotel, got ready, whatever, and then we ended up going down into like the city area, and it is so steep. Everything is just stairs, like it's just winding stairs to get down to the to get stores. down. How you get down and up is like all the stairs. It's like, like two miles of steps. Yeah, it's. I wouldn't know about the steps when I was in Posey. <laughs> wow, you're on a yacht. I was on a yacht. Oh, yeah, but how'd you no. get to the yacht? With the tender, someone to take us in right on the docks. Yeah, but how'd you get to but the you dock? To, you gotta you get take to the, the docks. No, he drove a yacht into the the town. Oh, like, no, the yacht the, on the yacht else. they had a tender. It was a little boat on the yacht, and they would drive us. Oh, because you're sleeping on the yacht. Yeah, oh. got it. Okay, okay. it must right. be nice. <laughs> I'm just like say, I'm, I would just well, y'all are telling all Positano. <laughs> I've been the, there. You know what? The steps, I lived a good the life. Were a once in a lifetime experience. It was. It was. I mean, we were dying of sweat, but it was beautiful. To be fair, he probably did as much steps on the yacht. That's true. Uh, true. True. <laughs> <laughs> but so go, okay. The food down at that town was yes. exactly what I expected. So we, we we ended up going to another restaurant and we got pizza and pasta there and it was it was great banging the gelato hit the dough oh my, for the pizza oh, yeah you, it was is unlike anything I've ever had yeah it was oh, really um, good. and they good had Italian pizza. they had slush espresso. I think, it was, I think we had six each. It was a slushy. We couldn't stop. But it was tiny. It was still like it was like it was like a like a little shot, like a shot glass yeah. of it. Well, like was it how icy was it? Because like sometimes slushies it can be a, like a, a little seven eleven. Yeah, seven eleven Slurpee. That's unbelievable. Yeah. You weren't with them? Not at this point. Okay. You'll be surprised so of Zane, how often we were all separated Zane during this entire trip. Zane knocked out and we went down to the town and I was just like, Zane is not going to figure out how to get down here. There's no way. Because you had to go with people. If you've never been there, yeah. it's very confusing how to get down there. We put in the maps to get down to the, the restaurant. And instead of clicking driving directions, I was like walking directions because uh, yeah. I figured there'd be shortcuts. My dumb ass did driving directions. He did driving directions and walked so like three, walked. three mile fucking. <laughs> oh boy. And I, could, I was back. like, did you guys walk all this? They're like, yeah, yeah, just keep going down. I'm like, no guys, you don't understand. <laughs> I've been walking for a good two miles. Where the fuck oh, do I go? Like, Ciao. <laughs> so there's all these stairs everywhere on the, along the side of the road, but in your, you don't, you don't think that it goes like, all the way down. You think yeah. it's going to someone's like a property. Yeah. So I just never like just thought to him, just go down. Are you sure? Just keep going down. Wherever down is, just yeah. keep going. It's crazy. You take like all these stairs, just whatever you find stairs, just take the stairs because you will end up yeah. down. You'll on, get closer. Yeah. To yeah. Where you yeah. Need I didn't, to I didn't think that though. Oh, but and the, the calzone. God. Lethal. Really good. Very romantic. It's spot, calzones though. could kill. <laughs> uh huh. Um, yeah. so Zane met up with us at night. After. Oh yeah, we oh. went. We went to to watch the sunset, sunrise, sunset, yeah. whatever. But on my way down to you guys, I got a Facetime from David because David was in Cannes again, and um, he was with Maisie Williams, <gasps> and he and I, I was freaking out. I was just like, I can't believe he's with her. That's so cool. And then they Facetime me, and she was on the Facetime. And I no got way. Yeah. I what ever, what I did got you a say? Screenshot. What? What did you say? It was really quick. It was really loud, but I was um. I, uh, she was saying how, where are you? I was expecting you to be here. David was telling me how she thought she saw me there oh. already before what? she saw David. So that like, that Zane, was really cool. On her radar. In her head. Yeah, yeah but uh, I just, we just said hi and then that was it. And then he hung up. Still, you got really to talk louder. to her. Yeah, I know. I know. That's she cool. knows your face. I know. It's pretty cool. But she, but she remember from back in the Vine? She, yeah, she, she used to follow us on Vine. Yeah, she followed us on Vine. Oh, wow. Which is really funny. Uh, but yeah, so he missed dinner and then he met up with, uh, with us and then he ended up getting dinner alone <laughs> in the most yeah. romantic place in the world. Yeah, they were, they were exhausted. So they went to bed and I was like, I need to get food in me. I haven't eaten. So I walked down the street, hit this hotel and 
Um, there's like a rooftop and there every, there was like 20 tables all filled up with couples. Literally everyone, <laughs> like not one table had three people, it was all couples. And I walk in and I didn't even think they would seat me, right? Because it it almost seemed like you had to be there with a, with yeah. a, with a, with a, a partner. <laughs> And so they're like, yeah, sure. They get me at a table and I'm sipping wine and eating dinner and seeing all these couples. And it was like, I've never felt so lonely in my <laughs> life. That's amore. In the middle of Posit Positano, Italy, I'm, it's beautiful, right? And I'm seeing all these couples. And I was like, damn, I wish I had a date right now. But I still, en- but it was, I still like enjoyed it. It was like a, like me time. It was yeah. really nice. And I got a three. By the way, every menu is the oh, same. Oh, yeah. Every restaurant has the same exact menu, the same food, the same starters. It's yeah, it's like the same layout, right? right? Like the uh, the appetizers, then the uh, second meal, and then yeah. like the oh, third yeah. There's meal. Like three, four full courses, by the way. Like usually, you get one entree. No, you get like three entrees when you're at these Italian restaurants. Mm-hmm. It's insane, and it's like I big it. portions for each. Pretty. Awesome. Did you go out that night though? No, I went home. We didn't like, there, there, there's Did not, you not really go like out something. There's not a nightlife there. Dude, there's this amazing nightclub that's like on the side of a cliff. We and it's like it. the, corner. the cave. The corner. Yeah, yeah we, we went in there. Oh, we went in oh we thought the driver was joking about that. Wait, he was, no. It was like that big Posey tower Pano club Remember? side of cliff. He was like, that's a club. And you're like, ha good joke. That's not a club. No, no, no. I think he's talking about the other one. Me and Ilya went there that last no, night. The one, the one that's, it's like a restaurant and nightclub. Remember we went all the way to the side and we're like, oh, images. it ends here. I think that's what he's talking about. It's called, um, it's like one word. Yeah. Our, our waiter told us about that too. Uh, yeah. That one, right? Yeah, yeah, but like that's the, the one but we like want you to. could go out and like yeah. smoke and like look over like the water, kind of. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what there. we mean. That thing right there, Zane. Yes, that pyramid. No, that really. That's, that's what it? he said was a club, and we're like, no way. Like that doesn't even make no, sense. No, no, the one he was talking about was circle. That one. Yeah, yeah, that's the one on the side. Yeah. Okay, so that one is the one that we walked all the way to Heath. Me, the yes, three of us. Yes, and you can go and you have a table up at top. Yes, yes, yes. This is I've been there. Okay, yeah, that's the one, Heath. Yeah, we called it early that night because we had the boat in the morning. Being on the water out there. You really got to see the beauty of everything uh-huh. when you're on the coast like that. So nice. And the boat, the rental was cheap too. We thought, yeah, remember how much really... we thought we were going to spend? We we're like, fuck, yeah. we, literally all the budget for our trip was going to go to this boat. I loved the captain the and his thing. little, he was the little coolest co-captain. Dude. Yeah, I know. they were awesome. Be- besides like that first restaurant With service. With long hair and a speedo. Yeah. Besides that first restaurant service, all the service was amazing. It was like Mykonos. Everybody was so yeah. friendly, yeah. so nice, so helpful. And we, we we took this boat around and we're like kind of like stopping at like different like Old islands boat. along the way. And then we end up at, oh God, I don't even know what it was called, but there was like some place we pulled up and docked and there was a, a restaurant right on the, uh, like the dock. Um, so we get there. La and I, don't I don't know. Didn't y'all go to La Scolio? Oh, no. You know what? It was called El Proces or something like that because i remember taking a picture of Pers- it <laughs> prosciutto i remember it, i saw i l l and then capital p something oh it um, wasn't skull. yeah but we start eating uh and getting like drinks and stuff and there's a bunch of like locals like this whole area is no tourists at all and everybody there is going crazy because they're like playing music on this dock it was like a tuesday afternoon and people were going fucking nuts people were yeah. dancing on the tables and shit and i'm like are you allowed to do this like this and is a pre- nice restaurant yeah. and, and and people were just like really well, did you guys notice before they were going crazy and stuff like that i was waving my napkin and nobody else was doing it and i was confused because that's a thing that we do like it's italian. like breakfast with mickey oh that's an italian thing when they you were yeah, yeah they were they were so all I started starting. doing it and everyone just looked at me like i had 10 heads and of course when they start doing it everyone's like yeah <laughs> i was like what did i do wrong I didn't even, hold on with us or other people in the restaurant the, the the that big table of guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, when they, they saw you do it, they they didn't do anything. No, I was looking at you guys, and you guys all like Natalie was sitting across the table, and she was like, <laughs> "Well, one <laughs> person, one person alone going like this when you don't know it's a thing <laughs> looks pretty weird." Well, you got to start it. So I thought the other table was gonna start doing it. And then somebody from their table started doing it, and then it like I'm just not oh. a trend trend st- setter. I, the thing is, I don't think I, I don't think any of us knew what you were doing. We didn't know what what was what that <laughs> was. I was having fun today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you go, girl. <laughs> just wave my napkin around. But yeah, it was it was such a great. Yeah, that time. was so fun. And all those guys, like there was like like forty of those dudes, and everybody was just like he was buying shots for everybody there. It was so. fun. I felt like a local. <laughs> God, they welcomed me in.
Our our waiter just ended up like lighting a cigar. Yeah, it and looked like he out just of a quit. Wine bottle. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was his. It looked like that was his last day. He was like, "Fuck this place! I'm ready yeah. to party." Um, and then what did we do after that? We we went back, uh, and then got ready to leave because we had to make it on the train to Rome. Rome. Yeah, we had to get on a train to Rome the next. Day. Was it that night or the next day? It was the next day. Yeah, the next and morning. tell them the text we got when we were going to Rome the morning of. What t- what, what was Ilya. the text? Oh, that was, no, that was on the no, way to the boat. No, that was the, the, before the boat. Oh, all right, we'll before, say that. Oh, before, before the boat, uh, we were all getting ready, and Ilya, last second, as we are getting on the boat, he goes, hey, guys, I'm not going to make it. I'm going to Cannes to meet David. Oh, boy. I was so bummed. Because he was like your buddy. He was now, my buddy. He was my couple. Oh uh, yeah, fifth wheel. I'm fifth. Wheel. I, 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 that was that was the one thing I was worried about on this trip was that at one point I was gonna be fifth yeah. wheeling, and that was the moment I was like, damn oh, this. And he bailed yeah, like was, ten minutes before having to be at the boat. Yeah. So I was just like. So now Shut all of down. our moods just dropped because <laughs> Zane, Zane was ready to fly home. I was, he was ready to I'm book done. my plane because I, I was get like, this here. sucks because. It sucks, like for, for like all like all these friends that like go on a trip and then it just starts, everybody just starts like beat like uh, jumping shit. Yeah, and you're just like you're like fuck. Well, I, I committed to this trip. Why are people fl- like but leaving? Good news, he missed the flight and wasn't gonna make it there in time. So he ended up meeting us at the boat. He missed the sack. All right. But Zane so- was not having it. He goes. Did you only show up because you missed your flight? <laughs> Tell me the truth. He was going to miss the boat. I was just like, you know what? Let him miss it. So, so we, <laughs> we, we turned it. the boat around and went back to the dock. And then he came out and then got on the, the boat. The captain yeah. had no problem with it. He was, yeah, what dock is he at? You see, in America, you can't do that shit. No. You miss something, they're and not going to fucking that's a turn around yeah. for you. Oh. Yeah, the locals so are nice out there. We picked him up, and it was a blast. It was, was so, so much wow. fun. So nice. Best nap of my life on that boat. So that was a fun day. And then, yeah, we woke up the next day. We um, Our taxis didn't. So we, we, we got a taxi for the, the night before because you have to you have to um, schedule a taxi or you're not going to get picked up. Oh, yeah. There's no Ubers. There's lives. no Ubers. There's yeah. no drivers. The drivers won't pass by you and stop for you. You have to find a driver like a day before mm-hmm. and schedule it or you're not making it out of there. You're going to have to walk and you can't walk to the fucking train station. So I booked us a taxi the night before and the morning of <laughs> 10 minutes before we're supposed to leave. <laughs> we get a call saying that the taxi canceled. <gasps> so we have to find our own r- ride to the taxi station. We're like, it was so difficult. We're like, what the fuck are we supposed to do? We're going to miss our train. And like, we're fucked. And then we're stuck here. And we were able to find, or I, I told the, I told the front desk lady and she was calling all these places. And um, Natalie was able to find us a cab ride like that moment. But we- he, pull, he pulls up in like a little station wagon and we've got like, like 10 bags, bags of luggage. Each. And I'm like, oh my god! There's no way this is oh, gonna fit. Oh no! And, and my he was bag like, was my. Do not underestimate. And my bag was broken. Well, before we, that, before the bag was broken, Zane's in the. <laughs> we have a little cafe attached to our lobby. Zane's in the cafe. I turn around, shirt off. He <laughs> he had to change his shirt because he was sweating so much. So his suitcase was wide open oh, in the boy. middle of the cafe, and he's having a meltdown. I was like, oh my gosh, he's having a panic attack. Because, like we need to keep him as calm as possible. We all have suitcases, and at this point, we don't know what. What's clean and what's dirty in yeah, the bag? Yeah, it, it was very frustrating. It's yeah. like at, you know, at the end of the trip when you just don't yeah. know what's it. It, it, it yeah. just finally hit me. Yeah. And right <laughs> before I went downstairs, so everything's really tight, right? So I'm in the top floor. So as soon as you open the bedroom, the, the, the like the um, hotel room door, Boom. the stairs are there. Hey. So I'm opening the room. I'm sliding my bags out because I'm like trying to leave. Uh-huh. I forget that there's stairs right outside my room. <laughs> so I throw my bags out and don't, don't, don't. Oh, no. And my, our bags are like heavy metal, right? They're, it's like a, a nice hey, aluminum. Yeah, yeah. Like that we, ju- or, that yeah. we just bought before the trip because we just wanted nice bags like to protect our shit. And this shit is, go- it sounded like a bomb went off in the hotel. <laughs> And the, my um, my, like the 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 handle Handled. thing uh-huh. was out before it fell. Oh, As that's it falling, clanging. It come it completely fucked but up it, the bag. But it dented from falling like that, so you couldn't push it back down. So now it was stuck open right. the whole time. So oh now my. this driver's putting all our bags in. Zane's it wasn't a, a carry on; it was it, a checked bag. <laughs> so we're trying to figure out this handle because every direction that this guy's putting it in, the handle's sticking out of the car. <laughs> and he's 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 like, I got. Don't worry about it. I got it. He sees Zane is 
freaking out. Zane's knee, he's standing on it. The, everybody's trying to push this handle down. Zane's whipping it open. They're trying to pull it out. They're like trying to saw it off. It's this whole ordeal. To, this was an expensive bag, Matt. We just, oh, I, know. I was ready to break this shit in half. I was like, I need to get the fuck out of here. I'm not staying here while my friends leave for the trip. What the fuck am I going to do? Complete meltdown. And then I was about to leave my bag. Up, he ends up well, he's got to leave the ha the handle still out, right? Yeah. Oh, no, I, I well, oh, you I, bent I it. You ended up getting it in, but you came. It's, it's, it's done. done. It's done. Yeah. It's so done. he ends up just shoving the handle towards the the car, like the front of the car, and shoves it in. So, but it's sticking out like this. <laughs> when we're in the back seat, it's sticking out like this. But we end up, and then the three of us are squeezed in this little back. Um, the back of the car and I know Zane's already freaking out. So he's like trying not to touch anything with his legs. The AC, his bag is blocking the AC so he can't breathe. <laughs> he's popping was, whatever no, was, he it was. It was a bag. long, it was a panic. long drive. I was drive. about to have a, a oh, panic attack. Meanwhile, the roads are like this. Yeah, and we're this close to different cars. There's different, like as we pass cars, they're pulling their mirrors in because they would hit. It was a mess. It was horrible. Right. Could you feel that I was about to have a panic yeah, attack? Yeah, because I was starting to. Because <laughs> I was contagious. starting to have a panic attack. It was attack contagious. <laughs> <laughs> so we end up getting there and uh, we get to the train station. We're grabbing food. Ilya, okay, we only have like five minutes before this train station. So Zane goes to McDonald's. We go to a bakery. Everybody knows just grab something small and hop on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> or hop on the train. We all get on the train. I'm looking around. Where the hell is Ilya? This train station and Natalie, is... Natalie goes, he just had to order a pizza. So he's waiting for his pizza. Oh, no. And My, like, mind you, this train station, it's crazy. It's so confusing. You thought an airport in yeah. another country yeah. is confusing. Train stations are even more confusing. You got to figure like, out what platform you want. Yeah, yeah. And the, the way the boards are set up, it's not like you see the airline and it's got the color and it's got and the, the gate. It is all like... 1980s Wall Street, where it's like just <laughs> yeah. red LED dots, and they're going uh -huh. by like, and you're just like, where, where the yeah. fuck am I? It was all it was stressful, yeah. and you know we were all relying on Natalie to really guide us to this train because if they left and we separated, we would have been able to get on the train because yeah, we were knowing where yeah. it was. Um, but we we got on and we're like, fuck it, he didn't make it. Literally by the second, we so made we it. start going and we're like, oh my god, so that's it. So we were we were being like like cool. We were like, yeah, whatever. He didn't make it. And then the train starts moving and all our faces drop. And we're like, yeah. no, no, Ilya. Like, then, then we fuck. change of heart. Yeah. He ends up hopping on the back of the train. We we got on the front. So we oh. ran to the front. He gets on the back and he just runs through the, the center. Because they, they were closing doors. So he had to just hop on But here on he comes something. with two pizzas. We're talking shit about him. The, the second, <laughs> Everybody started the second eating. we well, see well. those pizzas, we're like, Let's Thank, eat. Oh, thank <laughs> God he brought the pizza. Let's eat. That was actually my first Italian pizza was on that train. Oh, right, because oh. you didn't have it the first yeah. night. Yeah. Yeah, and that was uh, other than the fucking turkey. Tell uh, me, the, tell uh, me uh, that freaking dough. Burger, the burger the sandwich I got. <laughs> so this place that I bought, I didn't go to McDonald's. I went to this place that was it was just a sandwich place, but I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I was like, <laughs> ooh, a burger sandwich. So they pretty much got an American burger, but instead had a sandwich, like made it a oh. sandwich. And I, for some reason, I thought it was going to be good, and I ate I was like, it damn. Damn, it looked bad. Sucked. No, it looked good. No, it looked it, bad. <laughs> it looked terrible. It looked so good. What do you mean? It looked good, but it was, it was bad. It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> Eating Ilya's pizza. But we end up getting on. And then we make it to Rome. <laughs> Oh, Rome was my favorite. Place. The best. Oh, it crazy. was I love the it. history I love Rome. away. Yeah. Seeing the Colosseum. I, like, I can't even wrap my head around it. And I was like, Zane, yeah. this was built in 70. He was like, what? He goes, 1970? 70. <laughs> Just 70. 70. Just 70. 80. 70. Like there were there, there was people getting slaughtered in that coliseum, oh, yeah. and, and we're all just here just taking pictures and shit. Isn't it pretty? It like, felt come so, on. but uh, the spot that ended up being our favorite restaurant of the entire trip, it, it felt wrong enjoying like a glass of wine and having like this beautiful meal and just seeing the Coliseum, it felt wrong. It did. Like we, it like, it, 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 I don't know. I felt weird taking like pictures in front of it. I was like, I don't want to be like posing in front yeah, of this. It was a slaughterhouse. Yeah. yeah. Did y'all go to the Trevi Fountain? Yeah. Uh, no, we, we didn't. didn't do anything. Oh, we, that we is like have, my favorite I know, place. I know we wanted we didn't, to. We didn't have any time there because we were there, oh, we were there oh, just to the fly out. We honestly had Coliseum. less than like 18 hours there. The most fun I had was that night, me, you, you, and Ilya, we 
did um, birds. birds around Rome. Oh, at that night. was it fun. Was so it was fun. so wow. fun. But like when the Hillary but everything yeah, was like yeah, yeah. cobblestone or like American roads, Ashley. and you're just like, yeah. it was it was really aggressive. But it was so fun. It yeah, was really it was a great fun. time. We did that at night. It felt like a movie. Yeah. At that moment, where it was just casual. Spheres. That, that I, I cannot. What was? Oh, that restaurant was Royale. Royale. If you guys did go you to get the, Ella's recommendations, we no. Matt, we, we were we, there no. for like twenty four hours. Yeah. We right. we did as much as we could. We tried to see the Vatican. We tried to see. We couldn't. Just, um, was it Sistine called Sistine Chapel. Chapel? Yeah, we tried to see it all, but it was just. We did have our first limoncello. Yeah, limoncello. Our first that Italian was your limoncello. First? Yeah. Oh wow! Are you sure? Maybe I had one before. Uh, we, we have we we've had it here before. It's it was my first bottle. Italian. Oh yeah, me too. And it was amazing. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. Fun. I made everyone get lemoncellos for oh, breakfast. Delicious. <laughs> that was really nice. Bon appetit. And what did we do that night? The we cannolis. Just, everything was unreal. That pizza at Royale was. Well, it was. It wasn't pizza though. It was pincy. Well, yeah, it was like a flatbread. Yeah, but it was oh, really, really. That good. was definitely the best thing we had the entire trip. The, right? We could not stop. Well, we could yeah. not leave that table. It was. We ended so up. Good. We ended up having to stay another day. Oh um, yes, I forgot. There's a whole. Oh shit. Oh shit. Because I forgot about. We, that. We'll make we it quick. We'll we make couldn't it quick. make our flight, so we were like screwed. Uh, so we had to book a flight for the next morning. So we ended up getting this hotel, and there were all the hotels at the airport booked out. So I just clicked the nearest one that mm -hmm. looked the safest. And online, absolutely stunning. We're like, this is going to be great. <laughs> so we go to the location, and we're literally up and down the block looking for it. Like we cannot and it find. It says this we're at on top all. of it, but I'm like, tell me this place shut down. It doesn't exist. I don't know. So these locals come up, and they're like, what are you looking for? And they're trying to help us and the they, sweetest people. they couldn't find it either. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. So we just like go up to the building and we're basically like, just like feeling it, <laughs> trying like to like, there's gotta be a trap door. Just and there's, there's one sign that says the name of the hotel, but half of the letters are ripped off. It's peeling. And there's a, there's a door What? and the door is just a clear door, nothing on it. Yeah. And just that little tiny sign. We're like, I guess this is it. And it feels wrong because the, the block that we got left on, it felt very like on, locals only. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, very residential. It was on a canal, right? Yeah. And it had these really old boats. There was fishermen, but it just seemed like everybody lived there. So it didn't seem like there'd be a hotel there, but there was this hotel. We have all our bags. The second you open those doors, 30 flights of stairs. <laughs> it was shit. To the lobby. But it wasn't like you can like open the doors and then- 30 break. flights of stairs? Yes. No, it no, was 30, 30 stairs. Steps. Okay. What did Sorry, I say? You said 30 flights, flights of stairs. Flights I was like- is, Flights of huh? one, two, three. <laughs> but, there, it felt like it. But you what? couldn't like open the door and then bring your luggage in, close the there door. Was no and space. then You open the door and it's a step. Yeah. So you're trying to hold the door, pull the luggage at the yeah. same time. And I the said, lady- I said they should really advertise this. <laughs> <laughs> the lady's at the top just watching us, and I'm fucking over here. We are. Mind you, he ass. has that extra bag of camera equipment. Yeah. That we, uh, was he's awful. been huddling over. So we get up to the top. She's watching us struggle. We say thank you to the people. And oh, we tried to tip them, and they were like, they got, they were like, absolutely not. Like, we, no, no, please. They had two little kids with them. I was like, here, take a 20. I wonder and they, if they the get kids paid like, well. I, I think that they're just nice. No, they were it was just it was kind just, people. It was just random citizens. People. Oh. She was she street. was trying to tip the people that like. Yeah, I was just. Oh. Gonna, I wanted to give the little girls money. They were just, the <laughs> I, the little girls were staring at me and just the whole time their parents were trying to help us. They were staring at me and we were all walking together and they were just like talking in Italian to each other. Yeah. And they're just looking at me. I'm like, oh my god, they're pointing out my acne. They're totally like, <laughs> so embarrassed. And then she. You don't think goes, we're gonna look like that when we're older? <laughs> yeah, right? I'm so I'm scared. Of, like uh, I don't know. And she looked at me and she was like, "Your name?" And I was like, "Mariah." And I was like, "What's your name?" She goes, "Martina." And I was like, "Oh, and what's your name?" She goes, "Martina." And I was like, "She goes, same name." I was like, oh, "Are you friends, cousin?" She goes, "Friends, friends." Like they were the cutest they're little. They're both munchies. Martina and they're yeah. friends. Both Martina, yeah. Wow. And um, so we make it up to the to the lobby and it's just one lady at a desk and she gives us like an actual key like a no, key but oh, it yeah? was it was like a janitor key set it was a ring with yeah. like six keys on it there was one to the front door one yeah. to the entrance the of the gates, hotel the gate that we Whoa. came in we had we uh, it, i mean right. sa safety wise it was amazing yeah. but it was like there was three different doors to get in that's to interesting our and room. then an actual key for the like our 
our room. There was I, only five rooms. Don't they have like those like really small motels? Don't it, they have it was kind of like that. That's what it was like. There was five rooms. So we get in, it was clean. It yeah. was very clean. It was just very outdated, but yeah. it was fine. Like it for the night, it was great. So we were like, whatever, let's leave our stuff and then we'll go downstairs and we'll go eat somewhere. So it was just straight pizza and gelato for yeah, a mile, beautiful. like nothing less. And we found this spot that was Heath's favorite I'm pizza. Not, dude, I, I'm glad we stayed. It was I've Heath's never had pizza. pizza like this in my life. Yeah, it was amazing. And the gelato, same thing. Unbelievable gelato. Everybody was so nice. It was just like, just making friends with the locals. So you um, ended on a good note. Yeah, oh, we did. Nice. I also, you know how, you know how we're saying like we saw people from high school, you get excited about mm -hmm. it, whatever. I love making connections when it's such like a small world, but nobody else seems to care. Not, not us, but those other people. So we were in Rome and this girl, a fan came up and we were talking to her. And of course I always ask like, where are you from? Whatever, yeah. what else do you say? So where are you from? And she was Pennsylvania. I was like, oh my gosh, me too. Where are you from? And she says Bethlehem, which is, the, which is 10 minutes from Allentown. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm from Allentown. I was like, did you go to Liberty High School, which is the, the school there? And she was like, yeah. And I was just like, oh, I went to Parkland. And she was like, oh, okay. I'm like, you understand? We're in Rome. Oh, she like did it. We're in Rome. We're in Rome. We're in Rome. She yeah, didn't reciprocate she, like the energy. Right. She was like, oh. oh, wow, that's cool. We were rivals. And I was like, yeah. Oh my, holding on to that. And then she was like, so what are you guys doing in Rome? I'm like, <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. Oh my, and you know what? I did it again today. I was at the freaking grocery store and there was a car next to me with a Pennsylvania plate. And I said, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> He, he shows up to his car and I'm like, all right, well, he's here. And I rolled out my window. I was like, what part of Pennsylvania? Head down, head in his phone. Oh, and he goes, damn. and he go, he said, Middletown. And I was like, and I didn't hear him. And I was like, oh, excuse me. And he looks up, he goes, Middletown. Whoa. And now I'm stuck with this guy, but he's just like uninterested. And I was like, mm. oh, okay, I'm from Allentown. And he goes, Oh no shit. Like, I don't know if he thought I was hitting on him, but he goes, Oh no shit. And I was like, yeah. And then he like leans on his car and gets comfortable. Like now that I like, am, yeah. I don't know. And no, then, I'm like, uh, 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 no. And then I panicked and I, and I was just like, all right, have, have a good rest of the day. Like, I didn't know what else to say. He was, did not want anything to do with, I was like, okay. <laughs> I love making connect, like geographical. Oh connections. yeah. That's my, that's my Small vibe. That's my yeah. shit. I told it the last thing I said, I was like, Oh, when I see a Pennsylvania plate, I just have to ask. And he was like, okay. <laughs> All right. That was the way to end it. What the hell? How old, uh, how old does this guy look like? Uh, maybe 40. Uh, it sounds like a fucking blast. Yeah, it was that is nice. be A little chaotic. It was very chaotic. Of course. Would you expect uh, smooth sailing from uh, us? No, not at all. We, but there's never smooth sailing Made for us. a great story. We got we to gotta do it again soon. Maybe in a couple of years. And maybe in a couple of weeks. Oh, man. Do you have to be to a dinner reservation? Yeah, yeah, we'll get yeah. we'll get there. So okay, we're gonna stop right here. That is the end of our trip. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Yeah, buddy. As much as we did, it was fun talking about it again and reliving everything. Make sure to try the best coffee in the world, Cremota Coffee. Uh, we've got our new bag look. We've got Sexy. a bunch of uh, new apparel. We've got the tan. We have the black uh, core collection. And then we have the clear tumbler mugs. We've got new uh, Cremota regular coffee mugs. And, and all that will be out in uh, a week or two. Yes. In a week or two. Very exciting stuff. Make sure to check out the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. A week or two, July 4th? Uh, it's going to be no, around it's gonna be July like, 12th. Yeah, okay, 12th. my bad, my bad. So um, cool. Make sure to check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. We do early access to all of these episodes. They're ad-free. We do a bonus high episode, which we have uh, just posted with Remy. Remy. Um, absolutely hysterical episode, so make sure to check that one out. Uh, we also get, do an Unwind with Unfiltered, where we uh, talk for like 15 minutes after. It's just like hang out, debrief, mm -hmm. shoot the shit. Talk about the episode and talk about just life in general that you know, we wouldn't post publicly. More bonus content. Exactly. Uh, we do a live Q&A every single month. We have a private Discord. And yeah, it's just a, it's a fun place to be. Patreon.com slash Zane and he. All for $5, baby. That's right. Um, you can catch this episode out uh, every Monday. We post the audio form on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, and all the other good stuff. And um, on Tuesdays, we post a video form of this at youtube.com slash Zane and Heath. All right. We love you. We love you so much. Have a good day. Ciao. And God bless. Ciao. Bonjour. Bonjour.